Okay, I think we are back. Uh, so let me take care of a few things. Make sure the volume's off. There's that. Okay, get the phone going. Laptop should be going. Yep. Okay. So... Everything seems fine here. So, when I was looking through the Mario Wiki, like after last stream, uh, I was scanning through like what some of the items do, and I was looking at like the list of equipment, and I'm realizing there's a decent amount of equipment that you can only get by stealing. But obviously not every enemy has something like this, so it's one of those things where I think I might want to go through and get some of these pieces of equipment just to show them off and see what they do. Now that we basically have the first opportunity to go get these, more or less. So even though there is no... So even though there is no achievement set, or anything in these achievements that says steal certain items, there's nothing like that in here. I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna get, like, uh, new equipment that way. Through stealing, show it off, why not? Um, anyway. Uh, while we are here, though, at Little Fungi Town, we can explore a bit. I think if we go onto this side, there's something I want to make sure to unlock if it's here. That's not it. That guy's such a jerk. He knows I can't jump all the way over there. So he always runs off that way. Real mature jerk. Oh man, that girl scares me. This is the best place to get a little distance from her. Without this place, I'd be. I'd be what? Let's see, I know there's a green pipe here somewhere. Ooh, we found a hoopy. Is that the only one? Kind of seems that way. I know there's a green pipe here somewhere, I just want to find it. If it isn't Mario and Luigi, how would you like to view from up here, guys? Isn't it lovely? There's nothing up here, which makes me think... No? If there is something hidden here, I don't see it. Well, obviously. I don't know where it's at. What do you say? If you head west from from this town, you'll find the Gufawa ruins. Gufawa? I don't know. All the adults say we shouldn't go there because it's dangerous. But telling me I can't go there just makes me want to go more. Have you ever felt that way? Down here under our feet is the giant, huge, really big mushroom known as the Great Mountain Mushroom. But just how a mushroom could ever get so very big remains a mystery. You. This is definitely worth all the trouble we went through to cross the desert. This is quite high. Yes, quite. Do you think it's as tall as a mountain? And again, while we're here, uh, let's go shopping. Let's see if there's new equipment. There's the, if it's authentic Mushroom Kingdom goods you're after, I got them. What do you want to do? So, we got shroom pants, shroom bells, and shroom slacks. Okay, these help you win mushrooms from battle. Uh, is that spe specifically what it does? It says, enemies will always drop mushrooms. It is more powerful by 20, or more defensive by 20. That's not bad. Uh, but minus four in HP, that's a good trade-off. Made, made back home from Koopa Shells, really defensive. Look how huge that defense is. That is really good. Like, way better than Shroom Pants, if you just want defense. Can't do that anyway. 20 defense to get rid of the, basically, speed incentive, or turn incentive, whatever, for Luigi. Shroom slacks. More mushrooms makes these luckier. 
Uh, let me double check if that's what I think it is. Uh, Lucky Mushroom. The five. Yes. Wait, more mushrooms in possession means more lucky hits. This is one of those really broken abilities that is... Oh my god. So, from what I understand, the defense stays the same. So, like, that doesn't bo get boosted or at all. But because it boosts your chance of lucky hits, the more mushrooms, uh, super mushrooms, ultra mushrooms, uh, is that all? That's... Uh, and max mushrooms that you have boost these, uh, uh, boost these up. So, you can really go, like, full damage with these. These are broken. This is, this is heavily broken. Now, we got Shroom Force. More mushrooms means more damage. That is heavily broken. That power of 100, that's not right. <laughs> the more mushrooms we have, the more damage we can do. Mario Luigi Batch. A must-have for all bros fans. BP auto gain, you get like 2 BP out of it, I think. Muscle Badge. Increases counterattack damage. That's... Why would I care about that if I have the Mush, mush Badge? Okay. I got plenty of money. Winning mushrooms is not a bad idea. For now. The trade-off of HP for defense is good anyway. Uh, eventually, though... Eventually, though, Lu Luigi should have this. He should have that. At the very least. We may give Mario this, too. We'll see. Uh, this one, heavily defensive. Uh, on. I am buying two. I can't not buy two. I'll buy one of the others. Just to have them. And you know what? We'll buy two of these because I may end up swapping to them if needed. Because they are real... So far, they are my best defensive uh, pants. And I have the money. Actually, you know what? Because I have the money... Let's buy two of each. One for Mario and one for Luigi if I wanted to. So right now, Mario has the one that boosts, that, that lets you win mushrooms. Yo. Luigi has the one with lucky crits. Right now, we have 50 normal mushrooms and 9 regular mushrooms. The boost isn't going to be that great, but it can stack. It's going to stack. I may, I may, I may swap those off. Hey, come on, can we go to uh, Gufalo? Gufalo. Gafwa ruins? Soon or what? What? That place is dangerous! We can't go there! Are you out of your tiny little mind? Fine, then. Can we go to the new game arcade? What? There are danger there's a da there are dangerous guys there. We can't go there. Are you crazy or what? Aw, oh, what a party pooper. Uh what do you say? Wow, that's quite a commotion over there. I wonder what it is. I know there's a pipe here somewhere. Okay, item shop. What do we got? Sometimes I get such a craving for this shop's ultra mushrooms that I brave the many dangers of the desert just to come buy them. I'm crazy like that. Ultra mushrooms sold here are the very, are of the very finest quality. They are a local specialty that are only sold here, I think. Since you come all the way to Little Fungi Town, you miss out if you didn't buy a mushroom. So we could buy ultra shrooms. Super shrooms, normal mushrooms, to really stack on those uh, shroom force abilities. If you really wanted to. Oh my god. 
I can't at least max on that, but yeah, I don't think we need to buy anything just yet. We'll leave it alone. So let's see. Uh, what do we got here? Visit Mario and Luigi. Mario, rumors of your deeds have reached even my ears. And you, Luigi, always looking after the home front. Hold on. What do we got in here? I feel like I might have talked to, talked to him before. Hey. Oh, hey, Mario and Luigi. Did you say you two were Guardy Princess Peach? Wow, I knew it. Boy, my dad could learn a thing or two from you guys. Oh, there's someone else up here. Lately, my dad has been spending all of his time hanging around, hanging around the new game arcade. And boy, my mom is so mad. Which would be funny, except she goes and takes it out on me. Uh, that's, uh, that, that sounds like abuse right there. <laughs> It's not easy for a kid when his parents are like this. Well, granted, he didn't say in what way, but that sounds like abuse. There's some sort of abuse right there. Where's the green pipe from this place? Maybe it's too late. Uh, we're gonna save that for later. It's down here. Ah, here's the green pipe. We're gonna, we're gonna leave. <laughs> oh, okay. So, there's a lot of equipment we can steal from random enemies. I think we should go, since this is basically the first opportunity, we can steal stuff, more or less. Let's go ahead and see what I can steal. For, uh, who, what enemies I can steal from. Uh, let me take a look. I don't think... We I don't think I fought this en this type of enemy yet, so that's fine. Allow me to just kind of shift through some of these enemies I haven't fought yet, so we're fine there. Oh, okay. Chuckle Huck Woods. We need to go to like some of the later areas. There's a piece of equipment that an enemy can give us. Let's see. There it is. The fuzzy bush gives something. Or the fuzz bush. Let's see if we get it. Mm, I think I timed it wrong or it didn't have an item. Uh, yeah, we got everything. Let's just, let's just fight. That's fine. Uh, I don't know if the spear guys give us anything. Hold on. Let me kind of give us scroll through. Um. No, no. Oh, there's something else here, bud. Molly, what are you doing? You're being weird. My dog's being weird. Uh, da, da, da. I already got that. No. No. Okay. So, this guy doesn't have anything. Just double check. Get, you know, I, I, I just really wanted the mushroom, honestly. And Luigi got a level. That's surprising. Uh, we can get a lot of HP. Eh, I don't know about BP. Seems like we get a decent amount of power if we wanted to. You know what? Let's boost Stash. It's been a while since we boost Stash. I think I remember why I don't pick Stash. <laughs> yeah, we're looking for those uh, uh the, the fuzz bushes. Is there a piece of equipment we can get from them? Let's try it here. Oh no, not this spot. There is something else we could get from gold beanies, apparently. But I don't know if I want to go hunting for them. Easy. I've only seen these uh, fuzz fuzz bushes with the. Uh... No, they could, they could probably be with the 
chestnut guys. Don't remember. I feel like I've only seen them with the spear guys though. Fine. Yeah, try to call for reinforcements. It ain't gonna work. Need some extra syrup, I guess. I feel like I got everything in there. Hi. This was just for the Chocola fruit, right? Yeah, this was. All, that's all this was. I just want to find more of the fuzzy enemies. Fuzzy bushes. Um, I guess we'll check that out. One could be a gold beanie. some extra mushrooms along the way. Okay, here we go. This is where they all are. Except no fuzzy push. Come on. Wow. Oh. And the more mushrooms you get, the more likely that crit is going to happen. Two chances. I like my. I like these odds. All right. I gotta waste time. Uh, this is an opportunity to use up a mushroom. It's worth it. I swear. I don't know what the odds are of stealing, stealing this thing, but we're gonna try. Bubbles Gear. That's what we were looking for. Maybe we can get another one. Wait, is Bubbles Gear... Hold on. It's for both of them. I don't think I'll try to go for two, but since we're here, we might as well. I'm, I'm probably won't go hunting for another, is what I mean. And again, this is basically the earliest point you could get this. I only went slightly farther. I missed it. Oh well. Basically, we got the mushroom back. Alright. Molly, what are you doing? You're being weird. Okay. Bubbles Gear. So, Mario gets more defense. And he gets more HP than he did when he had, uh, what did he have before? Bean Trousers. By two more HP. So, is it just a better Bean Trousers? It might be. Yeah, only ever so slightly. But look, if you get, go with the shroom bells that you could buy, that I just bought, then it's huge defense. Who cares about 6 HP when you get, like, an extra 20 defense? Like, that is, that is a way better trade-off. I only bought one uh, shroom slacks. I should have bought another one. Uh, because eventually I would probably, I probably would want more. But yeah, so Bubbles Gear, if you went there right away, it would be a better upgrade, but it wouldn't take you that long to get the Shroom Bells. So it might not be worth it. Just check and see what I have. Double XP. Okay. Uh, Alright. That's one piece of equipment. That we can get right now. Let's see. What else can we do? Uh, 
Okay. There's actually two that we missed, but I think one's a steal, one's just a drop that we just didn't get. From there, uh, from one of the enemies. And we got something from an enemy. We got a drop from an enemy already on one of the ones I'm looking at, but not the steel. So let's go and get the steel one. Well, uh, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see what the order I go through is. Yeah. Bubbles gear, it's okay. For a stealable item that you could get before Mama Piranha, sure. I don't know how much better it would be. Or you could just beat Mama... Well, you have to beat Mama Piranha and you have to beat Trunkle. You have to beat both of them to be able to buy the Shroom Bells. Let's go to... Oh, I have to go all the way over there. Uh, Castle Area East. This is kind of the section I want to be at. You know what? Uh, let's go ahead and go this route. Go this route. We are going back to the uh, where we cl crash landed. Uh, what was it? Oh ho, right. oh ho, oh right, Oasis. Yeah, we're going back there. I know there's items you can steal from enemies in the ocean, but I think it's enemies we can't fight yet, so I think we're good. Doesn't take that long to get to get back to Oho Oasis. So, there are two items we can get, and I guess one's an enemy drop and one is a, uh, one's an enemy drop and one's a, uh, one's a steal. Let's try it. Apparently you can get stuff from the Ohojis. For one, I didn't even know these guys were, you could even fight them, let alone get something from them. Oh, ho G where? Or OG. I, I'm told it's OG. Okay. Okay, let's see. This is the drop. We could have gotten this sooner. So, if we compare this to the bean trousers, hold on, let me just pick up the bean trousers real quick. It is straight up better than the bean trousers. And this is a drop. So if I took the time to grind for these, these would have been better pieces of equipment. Granted, not by much. But if you were to compare them to Bubbles gear, Bubbles' gear is way better on the defense. But you had to steal for that. So you could have gotten this sooner, and it probably wouldn't have been that bad of an upgrade. Just keep fighting until you get the, get the lucky drops. Come on. Get back here. What, can you not fight him on the same screen? You have to leave and come back. It doesn't matter which one you fight. It could be the red or the blue ones. They're both treated the same. Let's try it again. Oh, I missed it. Took my experience points. Can you only fight, like, one on a screen at a time? Let's try it again. That... 
you just can't be in talking range? Is there one that, like, doesn't move? That would be nice. Is there one that, like, just never moves? This is weird. This guy doesn't seem to move. Okay, that works. Let's try it again. Oop. OG symbol. That's the steel one. Okay. What does that do? So. You get more power out of it. Okay, wait a minute. So, uh, this is what I just bought. I think. Yeah, no, that's for Luigi. What does Mario have? Throws rock. Is that the one I got from Trunkle? No, that is not. So, no, this is the one I got from Trunkle. Uh... That's fine. I don't remember. Oh, no, no. Bros Rock was the reward for doing the shroom. Uh, the, this, the stone. Uh, mushroom stones. Whatever. Bean stones. That's what it is. So, hmm. Let's compare it with Luigi, honestly. So, it's not much of a bigger boost in attack. The trade-off is, if you use your hand abilities in battle, you get a little bit of regen. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna see if I can get another one. Only because... Okay, good. I did it right this time. I'm gonna see if I can get another one, only because, like, it's nice to have one for each throw if I want it. Okay, I can just keep doing this. I just got very unlucky. Okay. There we go. We got two. One for each of them. Just in case. If I ever use hand moves in battle, I can get a little bit of regen. Yay. Remember, to get this, you still had to leave and come back. Granted, if you wanted the pants, you could just try to get the drops. Let's see. Is there another enemy? Yes, there is. Okay. Have the other enemy pulled up? Let's go after that. I have to now get back across the, the ocean. Actually, you know what? Let me double check and see if there's enemies in the ocean that I can do now. I think the ones that are in the ocean are later. Actually, is that... Okay, there's actually two where I'm going. Two stealable ones where I'm going. Okay, we'll, we'll go and do that. And no, there's nothing in the ocean. At least not right now. No bloopers, no uh, Goomba Divers. Again, none of these are for, like, the retro achievements. I just figure, hey, like... These are ste pieces of steelable equipment. Might as well see if they're any good. And if you were to do this immediately, immediately as soon as you go get the, you know, before you fight uh, Mama Banana, right? See how good they would be.
I think to I think once you get to Oho uh Oho Oasis, taking the time to get the, the pants is probably just a good update upgrade that you should do. Going back for the badge, I'm not sure about that. But the pants, that is an update up, uh, that is an upgrade. Taking the time to get Bubbles' gear is an upgrade for uh, above the OG pants. OG's pants. Whether or not you want to take the time to try to grind and get two sets of those for Mama Piranha and Trunkle, I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it. Back here in uh, Woohoo University. Uh, we want. I think we can just move towards Kakala? I think? Wanna, I think we want to this way. It's not the chain shops, which they're only in this section. It's not them. I just think we have a better shot if we go for it. Right, I skipped some of these. Okay. Viruses. You know what? There's an ad playing. I'm gonna let the ad uh finish. Okay, hold on. Alright, uh, 45 seconds. Let me double check. Because these might be the last two things I can get right now. At the moment. Yeah, that's right. Can't do that. Oh, there is one other item that I could I could have tried. Where are we at? Five, uh, four, three, two, one. Uh, okay. So, this is a... This is one I want to try. So, the Eker. We did get a equipment drop from him. School Slacks. That is the steal. Uh, slacks are the steel, right? Wait. Or are they the drop? It might be the drop. I forget. Wait. Give me a minute. The school slacks are the drop. We got these. What I want... No, we, we didn't get it, so I think we need to fight another eager. Either way, uh, I want to attack... Was it red to yellow? No, red to blue. Blue to yellow. I want to fight more viruses anyway. Okay, perfect. While we're here, let's go ahead and target the yellow virus, because there is something to steal specifically from the yellow one that we are looking for, and I failed. Maybe I can get... I, I'm okay with this. Yeah, I, I had a feeling. Oh, I messed that up. Okay. I don't need anything here. 
none of these uh, uh, enemies will give me something that I'm looking for. Like a chunk doesn't give me something. Okay, more viruses, that's what I want. That. So let's take the time to swing bros. Never mind. Just fail completely. Hmm. Yeah, I don't I think I'm just not gonna be able to get that one. Can we go with the hand? Okay, if you use thunder on the blue virus, you actually heal him. Is that enough to. Nope, nothing from him. Let's go ahead and heal him some more. There we go, we safely turned him into yellow virus. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. That's the normal drop. No, lightning would deal more damage. Let's just jump. Turn blue. We'll let him attack. We'll let the yellow attack. Oh my god, what do you mean you get like three turns? Alright. Refreshing herbs again. No, nope, that's not what I want. Um, let's heal him up. Now let's do this. Steady badge. That's what we want. Okay. What does that do? A badge given to university students. Just a power boost, really. It is le weaker than the Lucky Bros badge. Which... That is not the... That is not the badge I bought. Is that the one I got from Trunkle? Yes, that is the one I got from Trunkle. So... You can get this before fighting Trunkle and get more BP out of it. And get about the same amount of power. Honestly, the Steady Badge is a better badge than the one you get from Trunkle. Increases the chance of lucky hits? I don't think that's necessary. I think I'd rather have more BP for slightly the same amount of power. You're trying to get, you're trying to get luck out of it, you know? I'd rather go with Shroom Force, you know, obviously. Uh, PP auto gain, HP cover. Yeah, no, I'd rather have the steady badge. I would rather have this. Uh, I don't think I would need to. I don't think I would need to. So I'm not gonna grind for another one. If I happen to find it, we will. Uh, let me go ahead and use one of my mushrooms. Alright. Uh, I still need to fight. I still need to find the Eker. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well, I already got the badge anyway. Nothing from you, okay. Can we fight Eker from uh, this? No. Again, if we find another yellow virus, I will try to get another badge, but I'm not going to get a priority. 
there's one item from the ether that I would, uh, that I still didn't get. So, it seems like the Swing Bros can take items from just the basic, uh, drop rate table, but apparently, oh, well, I thought it was only taken from the steel table. Apparently, it can also take from the drop rate. Deals way more damage than everything else they're gonna do. Fine, whatever. Uh, refreshing herbs. We haven't used one of these yet. Well, I replaced the one I just used. Okay. Uh, no, I want, I, want, I want more syrup. I should buy more. I'm... So far, I haven't been able to really steal uh, that many syrups. I'm also not wasn't that great at sweet gross. All right, eakers. So far, I think they've really only been paired up with the virus enemies. So I'm gonna need to check some of the other areas. Because we got the school slacks, I believe, but that was the drop item. I just want to know if it's worth getting. If you, uh, do this before going after Mom and Piranha. You know? Is it worth it? You know, if you were doing some sort of, like, low-level challenge, maybe some of these, uh, pieces of equipment would be a good thing. Oh, wait, there's, like, no enemies down this path. And I think that's kind of the mindset of what I'm trying to do right now, right this second. If you were to not be over-leveled and not kill things in one hit, is it worth getting these pieces of equipment? Like, how worth they are these? Oh, two mushrooms. Okay. Uh, looking for eakers. I think there's some over here. There we go. Here's the eater. And I messed it up. I'll try for the other badge. Let him attack me. Need more eakers. More eakers! Oh no. Oh, there's an eaker. That was actually perfect. No no items from him. This is pretty much the last item to steal from. Actually, there is one more gold beanies that you can get. Oh my god, these guys still give okay EXP. Mario, what can we do? HP and not BP. Power? Power just doesn't seem that bad. Defense? 
be stash? Sure. Okay. That's why I barely boost stash. <laughs> There are enemies down there. Okay. I shouldn't have done that. Stash again. Mario got stash with Luigi get stash. There we go. Alright. Guess if I, if I want more eakers, I either No, continue forward. I think there are more virus enemies. There we go. More virus enemies. Yellow. Swing bros. Still nothing. Okay. Let's go ahead and syrup Mario. I need to buy more. No, we don't want to attack him just yet. Swing bros. Yellow. a spare steady badge. I have two now. Wasn't the goal, but I have two now. Let's go. Smart pants. Is that... Was it smart pants? That is what I was looking for. Finally got the last sealable item that we can get. Well, not the last, but... Okay, smart pants. Let's take a look. Mario only. Made for university staff. That's a huge boost in defense. And this is what we bought at Fungi Town. So, but, however, the Shroom Bells are also what we bought at Little Fungi Town. Honestly, the Smart Pants is just the same as the Shroom Bells. Defensively. That's all it is. It's just a defense boost, right? Taking the time to steal Shroom pa uh, Smart Pants before Mama Piranha is actually a good move. You will save yourself a set of Shroom Bells that you don't need. Luigi can still use Shroom Bells, but Mario doesn't need it if he has Smart Pants. That's a pretty... You know what? That's a, that's a good steal for before Mama Piranha. There is one more thing we can get, I think. Yeah, there is. I don't know if we'll go after it. Um, it is from the gold beanies. So that one might be hard to try to get. Because one, we gotta get to spawn and hope it doesn't run away. So I'm just gonna look it up. It's the, called the Tricola Badge. And what does that do? It says designed to look like a Tricola fruit. But all it really does, it gives 28 boost in attack. And that's it. Honestly, you're probably better off with other stuff. 
anything that's comparable for the 28 attack. Let's see. Um, you can buy a beauty badge at Bean Bean Castle Town Shop. I don't know if you can buy it yet, though. But if you can, buy it now. Uh, it's the same attack power. So, honestly, I feel like the Chocola badge is not worth grabbing. Taking the time to try to find a gold bean, hope it doesn't run away, and then use Swing Bros to hope to steal it. I don't know. I don't think that's worth it to me. Uh, but that would be the only other stealable item that we can get right now. And all of those stealable items were before Mama Piranha. So that's something to consider. Especially if you were able to do something like some sort of low-level run. Some of these might be better items. Let's go back, and we're going back to Little Fungi Town. Really? I don't need any of this. So that was a detour. But hey, we got to steal some items and get some item drops. So yeah, um... Landing on Oho Oasis and grinding for the pants is a good is probably a good idea at the moment when you when you're able to do that. And then s going back to the Hooniversity and stealing the smart point smart pants to give to Mario, that seems like a good trade off. The bubbles gear, that's something that's debatable, but it is better for Luigi. But you might be better off holding off until Little Fun Guy Town. Well, okay, let's move on with the plot now. Uh, actually, let me go to the item shop. I want to buy syrups. And actually, you know what? Uh, let me just talk myself off. Yeah, I need to buy syrup. I'm not gonna buy mushrooms, I just need syrups. Let's go ahead and buy... Let's buy 20. Eventually, we're probably gonna be better off with just super syrups. I am going to actually stock up on... 7. That way I have 10 of those. For later. Alright. Let's go ahead and continue on. Ex continue exploring. We'll save that for later. The Mushroom Embassy is just up ahead. Up there. Uh, over here. When a mushroom gets this big, maintaining it is tough. How, do you, how would you maintain, maintain it? Is there something for, like... I don't even know if it, it's possible to get on top of the flagpole, but... It feels like there is something for doing it. But, like, this would be higher, but you can't even make it. You can't get close, so I think it's just for decoration, basically. You can't get on top of the castle, so... Princess Peach is in the room up ahead on the right. I'm new here, and I'm nervous. Uh, okay, we'll do this one. Get some extra coin. I don't mind these growth blocks. It's the random ones I really don't like. The rally ones can also just take a while. We were all sweating about the ties between the Mushroom and Bean Bean Kingdoms. It would be terrible if the relations got soured. You did a splendid job handling that cackletta problem. Ah, oh, yes. 
Cacletta, she is no longer a part of this world. She is forever gone. Mr. Mario, Mr. Luigi, I heard you beat Cacletta, the evil witch threatening the Bean Bean Kingdom. Wow, you really are the superstars of the Mushroom Kingdom. Surely now the Bean Bean and Mushroom Kingdoms will have even more solid relations. Mario, Luigi, a game arcade near here offers in, uh, entertainment for the local residents. I know there isn't anything like it in the Mushroom Kingdom, so I'm considering a visit. Mario, have you and your brother been there yet? Yes, I think I will visit it a little bit later. Really telling us about this arcade. Did I talk to you? Mushroom maintenance is one of the responsibilities of us residents. I see. I don't think there's many more people to talk to, so we could just go ahead and maybe go to the arcade. Always be wary of the food you eat while when traveling. Trust me on this. You might get sick from the food your body isn't used to. And then things get ugly. But a delicate fellow like me? I get sick eating normal foods that I eat all the time. Pity me. Psycho Kamek has become obsessed with his hobby, hypnosis. In fact, he now brings someone in every day and tempts his weird little hypnotisms. Psycho Kamek? Kamek? You are slowly becoming more and more mushroomy. You are becoming a toad. I am already a toad! Like, why would you think that's a good idea? Rally block. Now I'm good. I do like how he has, like, the white mage garb of, like, Final Fantasy. This isn't even made by Square or anything. That just seems like just a Final Fantasy reference for the sake of one. If I eat an Invinci Shroom, maybe my skin will clear up. I wonder if my birthmarks and my freckles will go, go away. Invinci Shroom, you say. I wonder if it tastes any good. Invisi, invis, invisi shroom! This unique mushroom is a mix of one-up mushrooms and stars from the Mushroom Kingdom. Come now, don't you crave an invisi shroom? Play to win. See inside for more details. It sounds too good. Too good to be true. Might as well give it a go. I'm just looking. God, don't talk to me. It's distracting. Welcome. What do you say? Would you like to play? Give it a try. If you get a super nice score, I'll give you a free Invincy Shroom. Hey, Caleb, how's it going? I uh, started the stream with already being in Little Fungi Town, but then decided to steal a bunch of equipment and badges that you can only get through that and just see what you can get. So now I'm basically back to the plot. <clears throat> this game cheats. Oh, shielding! Shielding! No, I did not press that. Sounds like he's playing Smash Brothers. Well, let's go ahead and play the game. And look, it's Gino! Before the remake, this was his last appearance. As far as I'm aware. Before the remake of Super Ar Mario RPG, this was his only other appearance, from what I'm aware of. Let that sink in. This is the most popular machine, the Star Stash Ar Smash. The high score is 200 points. Beat it to get an exclusive this was a prize. Let's start to view the rules. Good luck! Yeah, uh... So you get bombs on one side, then the other side opens up. Try to get as many things that are not bombs into the mouths of the piranha plants as possible. Ugh. Come up! Get in there! Eat the stuff! Gotta try to get more than 200 points. I know there's an achievement uh, tied to getting a high score. But I don't know what the score is, and we can do it later as well. I'm now realizing that the song being played is the... Is, uh, is the... Wing Mario from uh, 64. And look, we got the high score. See, that wasn't that hard. Man, they really won uh, to give someone the Invincy Shroom. I want to work on that Pokemon Quadrican. It's the first time. We need to work on that. It's been too long. 
Congratulations! It's a new high score! Wow, nice score! Super nice even! Alrighty, here you go! We received an Invinci Shroom. Mario, you're just going right mm. for it, huh? Mmm, yum! Isn't it delectable? Mario, what have you done? How how is he? Mm, green hue? Yes. Discoloration in the face? The symptoms seem to indicate Bean fever! No mistake in it. This illness affects many travelers who aren't used to the food in this region. Well, well then, can you cure him? The right remedy. I could cure him, but sadly I'm all out. I just realized they said that this mushroom was a one-up mushroom mixed with a star from the mushroom king from the mushroom kingdom. But the doctor's saying that's food from this region that you're not used to. So it either means one of two things. The one-up mushrooms are different in this region, even though all the other ones we use are fine. Or they're lying about the stars. I I, I think they're lying about the, uh, the superstars being mixed in. Oh, at this rate, in three days, you'll be a bean. Well, what shall we do? It's somewhat dangerous, but west of this town lies a place known as Guff, uh, Guffawa Ruins. I don't know how to actually pronounce that. It is said that deep within the ruins, there grows crabby grass, an antidote to this fever. Luigi, will you go to the ruins? Oh, yeah. And a side note, according to recent research, wow. frightful monsters such as these have, have settled into the ruins. Rumors say that those who have been attacked by these monsters have had their bones broken, their fresh flesh stripped, and all their blood sucked out. Yuck. Oh, that's what they said. Oh my, that's quite, that's quite frightful. But you're Luigi. You'll do just fine there, surely. Uh, right, Luigi? You'll be fine, won't you? This is for Mario's sake, right? You will go. Yes. That's true blo brotherly love. Sheer will is making his cowardly bones move. How inspiring. Luigi, you're our only hope. Please come back safely. We'll be waiting for you. Well, Luigi, it is now up to you. One second. Luigi, the coward that you are, you gotta save your bro. But what can you do? You can't jump. You can't hammer. You can't thunder. You can't hand people. What, what, what can we do? He's too scared. Luigi's frightfulness is now stopping him from saving his brother to the point where he can't even jump. He can't do anything. There's nothing we can do. Hmm. This is the only way to go. Oh, are you interested in my hypnotic abilities? Oh dear, you look so nervous. Horrified even. Why don't you start by taking a long, deep breath? How was that? You feel more relaxed now, don't you? Say, you're dressed strikingly like Mario, aren't you? Are you infatuated with Mario, the superstar? Well, in that case, I shall turn you into Mario. Close your eyes. You shall now become Mario. Yes, embrace it. Believe. With his incredible jump, you will face the onslaught of evil. The greatest superstar of the Mushroom Kingdom, Mario, is you. Aren't you feeling a tad more Mario-esque? 
becoming Mario. You're turning into Mario. More and more Mario. You're almost Mario. Quite nearly Mario. Yeah! Now, uh, Streamlabs uh, shouldn't have challenged the adult will of the human spirit. Exactly. Now, come this way. Ah! Well, are your hat and clothes not red? You are Mario! Yeah, yippee, Wait. I noticed those sound effects when he was doing the yippee was the Mario sound effects for those. And then it turned into Luigi. That was a little weird. But now Luigi has his confidence to save Mario, his brother, from turning into a bean. It makes you question that the bean bean king, uh, the bean residents were not actually started off as beans. Makes you wonder if they were just ordinary toads or other folk at some point that just ate the food and got turned into beans, and then it just became the bean race. But we gotta go to the ruins. Gotta go save our brother. But how's it going, Hot Corn Dog? How's it going? Emma, you heard the game helped up. I've heard what was going on with that, yes. I've been hearing the news. Looks like utter garbage. There's like something else going on going on with it. The gameplay looks terrible. Well, among other things, yeah. It, it's basically a it, it's basically 2016 wrapped in a neat bottle and just a, a time capsule of 2016. You want to know something? It got it. It started production in 2016, so that tells you everything. One up mushroom. Can't make it in there. Uh, okay. Notice we're back on Mount. Uh, not Mount Rugged. Where are we? I forget. The, uh. Uh. Far ruins. Oh no, it's just near the the mountain range. Throw stuff through walls and hit down. <laughs> but at least that's something fun with, with true gameplay. But that's the thing. It's not about gameplay with that type with that type of game of the, those type of developers. It's not about the gameplay. It's about the message. That's what matters more. And suffers uh, because of it. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, I hit these spirit energy balls. Luckily, it's not like we have to. We just cannot hit the red ones. That's it. You do need to get your timing right, but... But there's no time limit. So this thing ain't... This ain't that bad. There we go. And another rock pops up with the switch! Okay, Luigi, it's all up to you now. You heard it's stolen data from GTA and got more funding than they admitted from the government? No, uh, I know they got funding from the, I think it's like the European government. I know that much. Are they, I, that is known, but are they saying that they got more than what they say they got from the Europe, from the government for funding? So, I could come. You know what? I think I'm gonna try to skip these fights, if possible. We only have one. We don't have Mario. We just have a Luigi. We can. We can always come back here. We 
platforming challenges. Let's see. Oh, is there something over here? Yes, there is. A super mushroom. That will go well with my sh with my pants. Power up my def not my defenses, but my lucky strikes, as well as my uh, sheer mushroom force. We got like uh, 150k from them, but apparently some sources say they got at least double that game. Looks like it was made from this scratch coating. Yeah, it's it's not a good look. It definitely isn't a good look. All right, this uh, this puzzle. I think. So what we need to do is lower certain switches to try to get up to the top Thunder. left to move on. All the way up here. No. Okay. Let's hit this switch. Lower the green ones. That gets us to the top right, which means now we can hit the red switch. Now we need to hit this one. I've mostly seen gameplay, and it's definitely a game that came out this year, that's for sure. That is definitely one way to describe it. Thunder. Uh, we need... Hammer. That. And again, Thunder. like, it was a game that was made in 2016, and it comes off as a game that came, that would have been made for 2016. It's 2016 just in a time capsule from what I can see. And of course, like no one, play no one is playing it. And you want to know something, Hot Corn Dog? When you compare it to Black Myth Wukong, right? Because that whole scenario was that uh, apparent. So news, me uh, game journalists were trying to uh, sabotage Black Myth Wukong, right? But obviously, they were shilling for uh, Dustborn. The score that I think it was IGN that gave, they gave Black Myth Wukong an 8, and they gave Dustborn a 7. That tells you a lot of things, doesn't it? Hey, Mr. Mustache. I am amazed you have come so far. Word has spread in town that I have become a horrible and despicably Frightening monster. Why does everybody spread rumors they know nothing about? That makes me furious. And so annoying. It tears up my insides. I haven't seen or played the monkey game. I hope it's good because I I am interested in playing that. Uh, but, like, it's only Steam and PS5. Oh, you can help, Mr. Mustache. Please help me release the stress that ails me so. All you must do is dodge my flames for 30 seconds. What do you say? Will you ease my pain? Will you help me escape my stress? <laughs> yes. Of course you will. Like I said, you must dodge my flames for 30 seconds. If my flames have you hit you or you fall off, that ledge before 30 seconds pass. You must start all over. Ready? Uh, okay. I forgot that was his whole, like, little speaking uh, pattern thing. It's not that hard. You 
gotta hold right or left if you want to jump to that direction. And then if you just want to jump straight up, just don't touch the D-pad. Yeah, this is this is not that hard. See, made it. Oh, many things that really let off a lot of stress. It feels like my soul has at least been released. I like how this gets boss music for whatever reason. Thank you, mustachioed one. Now, you can go now. I am done with you. I'm so glad to be done with that. Let's move on. We have... The Krabby Grass. We can cure our brother. Love the yellow pipe. Love this yellow pipe. Luckily, we don't have to, like... We don't have to cr climb up it or something. Alright. Let's go save our brother. That way he cannot turn into a bean. What would Mario look like if he was turned into a bean? It's just a bean with, you know, overalls and red hat, I guess. Luigi, are you okay? Mm. What? You don't know what you've been doing? Don't you remember? Mm. What, did he just get amnesia for a second there? I heard you went to uh, Gafalo Ruins to get Krabby Grass for Mario. Did, did you really get Krabby Grass? Just double checking whether or not he has it. Heard one journalist who really hated the game and telling people to not play it, or if you are gonna play it, pirate it, I heard. I've also been attacking commentators who speak positively of the game. Again, it's it's because of the whole thing where the developer said that if they were gonna give a re when they were giving review codes, they get basically gave like the do's and don'ts of like what you can say and what you can't say during reviews. And they said, like, don't insert politics into your reviews, basically. That's basically what they said. <laughs> <clears throat> so that's why journalists are really attacking it. If it's, if it's not that great of a game, it's not that great of a group. It's not that great of a game, but so far I haven't heard what people actually said, those who have played the game. Then again, it's only, it's only been out for about a week. It really is crappy grass. Go into a frightful and dangerous uh, uh, Gafalo wounds all by yourself. It purposely mistranslated the devs' tweets. That is also a th another thing that I heard, yeah. Luigi, how incredibly courageous you are. Surely you'll be a legend in this town. By the way, what do you think of that thunderous noise was? Could something have happened at the embassy? Luigi, shouldn't you be rushing to Mario's side? Oh, yeah. You're the one that stopped me. P -p 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 Princess Peach, she. Huh? What? Gr granted, this was the perfect time to strike. Wow. Oh no, Bowser <laughs> is now really the time. <laughs> Excuse me, Bowser. Oh, I think you're sorely mistaken. I'm... Bowletta! Mamma mia! That was Mario's voice. Kikletta's power has poured into the Koopa who is king. The body of... The body is of the Bowser. But the mind is all the great Kakletta. <laughs> I told you, we killed... We freaking killed Kakletta. <laughs> all, all that was really left over was her soul. There's no need... I... I need no voice this time. I just... I'll just steal it. The real deal. So, Cacletta has stolen the body of Bowser. Now we got Bowletta. That's, uh... When we get a good look at Cacletta that's not in the clown car, you'll... You'll see the weird design choice. 
basically, we got Bowser with boobs. And I'm not joking about that. Mario, the, the princess! Master Mario, Master Luigi, awful things transpired while you were off, you were off doing who knows what. It looks like my hobbies will have to be shelved once again. Your Highness, Bowser, no, Cacoletta, uh, I mean, Bowletta, a message has arrived through a Game Boy Advance. <laughs> again, I'm pointing this out, we have Bowser with boobs. This is a thing that exists. <laughs> you puny little worms are no match for me now. I'm only gonna say this once, so listen up. If you want your princess, pr precious princess, return safely. Bring me the four pieces of the bean star. I will contact you once again once the bean star is complete. You think there would be five pieces instead of four, based on how those are split up? Oh my, how has it come to this? It seems we played our hand out, only to find the game is not over. There's little we can do. For now, we must gather the bean star pieces as Balletta demands. Luckily, I know the general areas that the pieces fell in, so it shouldn't be too hard to find them. I have marked the areas where the pieces fell. Who will gather the pieces first? They seemed Mario Brothers? I'll be- I'll bet 9.99... Wait, okay, wait, so... A million, billion... Wait a minute, okay, so... Hundred, thousand, million, billion... Wow, what is that? Zillion? I don't know what it is. Ugh. 99 zillion, 999 billion, 999 million, 999,999 mushroom coins! That will be me. Oh, yeah. Do not scoff, for I do not intend to lose. I, I think Luigi's enjoying this a little too much. Luigi, uh, keep your keep your uh, uh, bromance to yourself. The game is afoot. Master Mario, Master Luigi, we're counting on you. Heed my directions well, and you'll quickly find the Bean Star piece that landed in Tihi Valley. I recommend going to find this bean star piece first. I must say, my senses have been, have been referred to as strangely keen. What he means is that's the only one you can actually go after right now. There's no. This isn't a. Oh, this is just the easiest one you can go after. So go after this one first. No, you literally cannot go after any of the others if you wanted to. So go after the one in Tihi Valley. Is there anything new here? There are. Let's see, I already... I'm gonna buy one of these. Just to have. Just to have one of each, I guess. Oh, there's actually a decent amount that I'm missing. Man, I haven't checked the shop in a while. Okay. So, parasol pants for extra defense. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have saw these, but I didn't buy them. Uh, I'll buy some of these. But, yeah, I do... I do wonder if Black Myth Wukong is a good game, because I do want to try it out. These are weaker. I already know that. Though, that gives me more HP. But, no, nah, I'm better off with the stuff I already have. Plaid trousers... Super cool trousers. It's just extra defense. Number one trousers. Wear these to always move first. Okay, that's not bad, maybe? Safety slacks. You basically are not immune to poison, but less likely to get poisoned. I don't need them, but I'll... That's not what I meant to do. Okay, street jeans. That's a huge defense boot. Well, oh wait, that it's because of the safety slacks. I'll we'll do that. Tropic slacks. Uh, it's better HP, but I lose out on the wind mushroom. I'll buy that because that is better. 
and this is the poison dodge one. So that's just a better safety slacks. Oh, okay, wait a minute. I just realized that this one is only for Mario. The safety slacks is for both of them. Okay. Uh, I used up a lot of money there. We'll leave it there. I need to go ahead and swap yeah, oh. to... What was it? What did I have? It was... Not the Shroom Bells. Shroom Slacks? Is that what I was using? Hold on. Well, actually... Man, can I sort this? No, you can't sort. Maybe it's auto already auto-sorted. Actually, it kind of seems that way. Yeah, it actually does kind of seem auto-sorted. Good to know. Just kind of wish it didn't loop around so it was easy to tell where, where the end was. Um... OG, or OG, Bubbles Gear, Shroom Bells, that's what I had. Shroom Slacks. Makes Lucky Strikes, I don't think... You know what? We'll keep the Street Jeans equipped. Alright. Let's go! There is nothing else here. We can just head straight for the... the mountain. Although, I think we want to go... No. We just want to go to the the new area. I was thinking, did we need to go back to uh, the ruins? But I don't think so. I don't think we need to go back. So let's go ahead and go... Let's go here. Hi. Back to Tiki Valley. Oh, right, uh, Mario still has the shrimp pants in it. That's what I want. How many mushrooms do I have? 76. When I cap out on the on the mushrooms, then it will be worth uh, swapping to, like, better seat defense. Because I think it only affects normal mushrooms and nothing else. in here. Block Fortune, today's lucky block is the sun, uh, Simon Block. If you hit the two Simon Blocks up ahead simultaneously, your luck will improve. The secret to hitting them simultaneously is to get on top and the bottom ledges. So we need to have Mario up here. Or, yeah, just whoever's in front. There you go. Someone over here. There you go. Could have done this ever since we got back from the oh, oh, oasis. Uh, we want this. No. Okay. No, I remember. Okay. We want to jump at the same time and do that. There we go. Congratulations! So job making it all the way here. You get wool trousers. We could have gotten this sooner, apparently. What does that do? Can it affect both of them? Gives more defense than what Mario already has, but I'm still better off with this. Uh, for defense, anyway. But you get an auto HP regen for equipping it. I mean, maybe that's useful? But we're so strong, and honestly, you could dodge anything. I don't know. It may it may be worth it to someone else. And you can stack it with like one of the badges that's like, oh, you heal HP every time you use your hand ability. I wish stealing was more incentivized. 
because I'll, you'll probably try out uh, trying to steal some uh, from someone, and you'll just apparently get the random drop one, but not know it was the random drop. You'll just assume it was the steal one. Made it back to Tihi Valley. We want to go to the right. Yes. This way. Nice. Right, I spent a lot of coins back in Bean Bean. Might as well get some of the back. Oh, okay, okay. Just missed that. Chuck beans. I already know I need to go back to the, the arcade machine to get a higher score. I don't know what the score I need though is. Uh, I will do that later. Down here, can we do anything? Can we create like a shortcut back or something? Get up there. That's fine. Okay. Back to the ship. Man, there's one pieces. Whoa! Is this the thing that fell from the sky and crashed onto the hatch with a big old thud? It's gotta be. Thanks to that, the hatch is busted. This is terrible. But hey, whoa! Just look at this thing sparkle and shine. I don't know what it is. I'm putting it on, on the hole. Or in the hole. Listen up, and this will shock you. The ship is the world renowned SS Chocola. Uh huh. We're hauling Chocola Cola, you hear me? Shocking, huh? Look, who are you guys? New deckhands? Don't even think about drinking the Chocola Cola down in the hold. How long have they been here? Eh, what's that? You want to know why the ship is in the desert? Oh, that's cuz, uh... See, this is a sunken ship. Yeah, you know? It, uh, it used to float and then, well, uh, yeah, it sank. The time passed and passed and before anyone knew it, the ocean was a desert. In fact, it's been so dead. Just look at us. We're just bags of bones over here. Okay, we got some items here. Refreshing herb. Grab this, what we got? Wild mushrooms. Okay. Keep exploring around. So just when this big, great SS Chicoa is gonna head out to sea anyway. I'm sick of Wade. That guy bloat down in the hole drink too much Chocola Cola. His bones got all soft and flabby. And then we can't get him get him off the wall. Anything up here? Ah, uh, rally block. I don't need a rally block. What do we got here. Sorry, we have filled all of our open positions. You ought to come back in the Bloat is even more of an uh, uh, staff than before. And everybody's saying the crack in the wall is gradually getting bigger and bigger. What's that? You don't know what an staff is? Sheesh. It's simple. Try to spell it backwards. The game just called him fat. Hey, the storage area is this way. If you ever want to get in, you need a membership card for this boat. If you want a membership card, try doing something that'll help out this boat. Hmm. We do then. Can't get in there. Can we activate this now? Yes. Okay. I, I just can't handle this heavy duty brain labor. Please quit quiet crying, I swear. This is why I hate hiring these workers from out in the sticks. Oh, perfect timing. We're short on, on some people and we're hurting. 
Yeah, we're in a huge jam. You two ready to take on a little work? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, great, come in here. Man, why haven't DK? Bink. So Bink Kong? Is that who we're talking to? <laughs> he just took out a member of the Kong family, that's for sure. Nice to meet you. If you get 10 barrel points, you could be my sidekick. You win, I win, we all win. Want to, want to barrel? Let's uh, explain. Just line up the barrels of the same color. Line them either vertically or horizontally. I'll show you how, so give it a try. It's not so difficult. Mario, use the left and right to control uh, on the control pad. Luigi, use up and down. Try taking 10 steps each. Next, I'll show you how to move barrels. How exciting! Hold the A button and press the control pad up or down to move Mario's vertical line. Hold the A button and press the control pad left or right to move Luigi's horizontal line. Mario, try moving some barrels. Do not fear them. Hold the A button and press the control pad up or down. Now it is your turn, Luigi. Hold the A button and press the control pad left or right to do your thing. Hmm. Hmm. I'm such a good teacher. I am a mason myself sometimes. Why don't you work up a sweat moving barrels until you get used to the rules? Let's start when you're ready to quit. Yeah, this mini game. This one. This one gave, gives me a lot of trouble. Let me do something like this. But yeah, this is just practice. You get the idea. Oh, yeah. Ten barrel points, and you can be a psychic. Let's go ahead and play. Wait. Right there. You can do that. You can do this. Oh. Where's that? Yeah, this is not my favorite. Is not right. Whatever. <laughs> we got something. Yeah, this is going great. I love this mini game. Clearly. Uh, and this one's also tied to achievements as well. How fun! Just know we're gonna have a lot of fun with this one. Use that. If I could get a combo, that'd be nice. Although right now it's just get the points. I don't think there's anything else to worry about. Other than just the points. I'm also just not that great at puzzle games. There we go. There's something I need two more. Yep, and there's the yellows. Throw in the yellow. Uh... Is that? And we've made ten. That's all we really need. So, since I made the ten, that's all that really matters. What does the, the achievements want? <laughs> Let me take a glance, because I know there's high scores for this that I need to hit. Um, it's later down the list, I know that. So, with the arcade minigame, we need 480. Uh, with 
this, we actually need 20. We would need 20 points for this to get this stupid achievement. Uh, we're gonna spend a lot of time here. Do it later, though. Thanks for your hard work. You really helped us out, fellas. Unfortunately, we can't pay you with cash, so take this instead. We've got a membership card. If you ever need more work, just drop on by, right? We're always happy to welcome hardworking types like you, fellas. So hardworking that once I hit, hit the bare minimum, I just completely stopped. So hardworking, I swear. Oh, look at that! You got a membership card right there. Whoa! Now that I now that I know, I ought to be able to remember you by sight from now on. Don't have to show it every time, basically. Bringing this sparkly thing to the hold was a good idea, but where do we put it? Whoa, whoa, what's that? You say the sparkly thing is a piece of the beanstalk. Oh, yeah. And you say you two came here looking for it. Oh, yeah. Really? You want this thing? Well, I guess I could give it to you. I gotta tell you, this thing bu uh, busted our hatch. I can't just give it to you for free. Alright. Just get that guy bloat off the wall up ahead. Now I'll give him the sparkly thing. I'll give you... Now I'll give the sparkly thing to you guys. Those are, you know, conditions for the trade. Come on, come on. Have a look. Come see the pathetically inflated man, Bloat. He drank so much to Cola Cola, he got stuck in this crack. Plus, he forgot where he left the bombs for blowing up the walls. Can't be nothing done. Can't poor Bloat escape his fate. This Chocola Cola fizz seeps right through your bones. Don't you guys want to join me for some refreshing cola? Stuck in the wall. There's another help me step bro joke you can make in this game. Wow. Two in a single game. That That's uh, surprising. Alright. For some reason, this now appears. Just now. This wasn't here before. Now we go back down over to the hole. Or hall, whatever. Storage. I know boat terms, clearly. Now let's light this dynamite on fire. Or set the fuse. <laughs> wow. Oh no! A lot of sand is rushing in. Yeah, because this was a smart idea. I don't know how the boat's moving now. Look, what's going on here? Captain, it's the ocean! It's an actual ocean! Oh, is SS Chocoa finally afloat once more? Yay, it's floating! Oh no! It's sinking! Emergency, emergency, mayday, mayday! And that's that. <laughs> Well, that didn't last long. I hope you didn't like the interior of the ship, because you can never go back in. It's underwater. There's no way to get back. It's closed. You can't get back in. I hope you, I hope you didn't like it. Well, we gotta chase after the beanstalk. some sort of switch. Get down there. What do we got? Again, light this torch underwater that stays on fire permanently, because that makes sense. I mean, this is Mario we're talking. He's able to shoot fireballs underwater normally in, like, Mario games anyway. Detour to Guahar Lagoon. Okay, new enemies. We got Malibuts and Cheap Cheeps. Is anything in here? Something we can steal from? Uh, no to that, no to that. Just double 
double checking things. None of these enemies, but there is something up in this underwater section. Okay. Well, let's just attack like normal. No, now he's a bubble fish. It's time to use my hammer. Ah, jeez. Forgot about that. You know, for the longest time, I couldn't figure out what this was, but no, it's just like an octopus sleeping. Oh no, Mario's dead. This is like, what, the second or the third time we actually had a death? tell who they're gonna attack based on like that starting animation but honestly it really doesn't matter we need to steal from the sarkis okay you didn't have anything might as well just heal mario it's not gonna hurt anything and get to luigi to waste a turn okay, attacking luigi and let's try to steal again And aura. Is that what I was trying to get? Yes, it was. That was the thing I wanted. Let's see. Hand aura. Thunder hand and fire brands might. HP up hand? What? Okay, wait a minute. Five. Okay, it's another you deal more dan you get some HP back when you use hand attacks. So, if we were to compare this... Oh, let me use Steady Batch for a second. If we could pair it with the, oh, hope, the OG symbol, it is weaker. Wait, what? It covers HP with solo hand attacks. Thunder Hands and Firebrands might, but it's weaker. What? Why is it weaker? All it does is just give you the recovery. Uh, it, it just gives you the recovery thing for using hand stuff. What? Why? What's the point of this one? I don't see the point. That's weird. The OG symbol is better than the hand aura. Which, you can get the OG symbol way sooner than you can get the hand aura. What a waste! I guess they didn't think that someone would go back to uh, the OGs. I'm still gonna get another one. There we go. I have two now. One for each of them if I want it, even though there's no point! So weird. Okay, hand powers. Okay, you get healed by electricity. Well, at least the starfish. Oops. Uh, hand powers. Neutral damage, okay. Wow, uh, you move pretty slow. Hand powers, go! Neutral, got it. Alright. Oh no! That. Oh well. I think you're attacking Mario. That works out. 
you're also attacking Mario. Luigi is completely safe, even though he's the tank of the group, he, he, he would be fine. Oh my god, I'm so strong. I must be overleveled or something. And I'm... Look, I did, like, very little actual grinding, right? The only grinding I actually did was, like... Uh, really just to train up swing bros to get the advanced technique. That's the only actual grinding I did. Everything else was just me fighting enemies along the way. And I guess any grinding I did trying to steal stuff at the beginning of the stream, but, like, I was just fighting enemies along the way. That's all I've been doing. And yet, I am overpowered. I think that's how you know this is, uh, not a balance game. I guess this game is kind of made in a way where it'd be like, you don't need to fight every enemy. I think that's just kind of what they intended. They clearly did not plan for someone to just fight every enemy along the way. Clearly didn't plan for that. I don't know about you, but if you're designing an RPG, I would probably design it in a sense that someone is probably going to fight every enemy along the way. That's probably how I would design it. Is there something over here before we do that? Yeah, but there's like nothing there. Maybe there's a hidden item there somewhere, but... I don't know. Is that safe? There we go. Not right now. There we go. Have you heard those rumors about Prince Peasley? Boy, I have. Let me tell you, he's running around hunting high and low for something. Yeah, you, the young prince is in the pickle. And that's no lie. I wonder if he'll come this way. We go up. We run into a green pipe. Want to make sure to grab that first. Yeah, get this shortcut. That's going to be useful. We can't... Can we go south? No, we can't. Not right now. We need to go to the right. You! Move it! You've got to hear this! I'm back with hum uh, monstrous news and incredible ru incredibly rumors. Oh, is this about the strange-looking shiny beam thing that fell from the sky? Wait, is that the one everyone is saying Hermie found? Yeah, the same. Hermie took that bean thing and decorated his shell with it. That's the word, anyway. I hear he, he looks uh, just like the festive holiday tree. Wow, crazy cool. He really should go take a look at it. Or we should. Yeah, that's a fantabulous idea. Let's do it. If you two just lie there all day, you'll get wicked, wicked sunburn. Well, we have a lead. Well, first, uh, the Jellyfish Sisters Relaxation Room. We want to go in here. Mm, sirs, you're after Gigi and Marie, aren't you? Miracle hand massage of the t of the tickle technician uh, technicians Gigi and Marie is incredible. But words don't just do it justice, you must experience it. Welcome, travelers! This is the relaxation room where we ease your weary body and spirits. Our massage masters use their miracle hands to give you a gentle, calming massage. Hundred coins gets one individual through uh, a thorough, if brief, rub down. For the both of you, it would be only 200 coins, what do you say? Great! That comes to 200 coins in advance. Thank you. Now then, you can sit on the chairs in that room and wait. A red and green chair, very specific. Oh hey, 
there. Welcome. How are you? Super. I'm Gigi. You never see... You, as far as I know, there's no artwork of these two. If there isn't, I am surprised. Do you think there would be? Now let's get right to it. Show me where, you, where you're sore. Oh, show me too, please, because I'm Marie and I despise soreness. It's my sworn enemy. Oh, look at this. Your hands are so very, very tired. And you too. This is awful. Your hands are so tired. They look ready to hibernate. Now don't worry. Our mir miraculous hands will gently co uh, coax the weariness from you. Promise. Mm. A nice hand massa massage, I guess. Oh, jeepers! What is this? Wowzer! I mean, double wowzer! You mastered the firebrand! Mm -hmm. ah. Uncontrollable firebranding, Mario. Oh my goodness! How shocking! You've mastered the thunder hand! Again, ah. Luigi, premature, premature thunder branding is something you need to take control of yourself. Uh, you guys aren't ordinary travelers, are you? Aren't you too fascinating? As miracle hand technicians, we're masters of hands like yours. But there hasn't been a new master in like 3,000 years, so are you that old? Or is there something else I'm missing? Oh well, yes, that's so true, Marie. Why, with your hand powers, you can even get those... Anyway, I gotta say, you guys don't need massages. I said, we'll do you one better. We'll teach you two very special hand techniques. What do you say? Yes, I knew you'd say that, but the lesson began. We'll show you two guys, uh, two absolutely incredible techniques that'll make your hands magical. Those who don't listen will get left behind. Bye bye Green bean. Oh, yeah. Press the L button to start hand power. Thunder. There we go. Build up your thunder power. With the B Come on, yeah, build it up, and when you can't contain the electricity, when you're about to explode, release the B button. Again, very sexualized reference right there could be made. When you electrify the person in front of you with this move, you can use the control pad to both move on the same path. Yeah, make it feel it right down the spine. Make it sting, stingly. Send a big jolt of electricity racing down the back, yeah? With electrical tickle power, you can push things with your back or walk from the side to side. And now, the time has come to use it. Are you excited? Great, try try to bump into me with your back. Come on, bring it. Thunder. There we go. Nice! Yowzer! Wowzer! Well, you're a tickle technician. It's your turn next, Red. Press start to change positions. Press the L button to select a hand power. Fire! Charge up your firepower with the B button. Come on, Texite. Like, when you feel the fiery power build to a dangerous level, when you're about to ignite, release the B button. Ah! down that spine. Tickle boy with power. Make him feel tickle fever as it as it burns, burns, burns! Yeah, you can use this move to, to dash super fast or even knock stuff over. Feel the power. Super, and let's get you a little practical experience. Because this is so necessary. Just to make it over there. I want you to dash right into this rock. Come on. It's not really a rock, but... I don't know. I mean, sure. Oh, it's more like a cannonball, but whatever. 
Nice! Super! Duper! You're a tickle technician! Super! And that's all we have to teach you! Oh, Gigi! I know it's... I know this is being super picky, but you're forgetting one thing. Oh, that's right! Of course, when you want to stop dashing, turn in any direction other than the one you're facing, or just press the A button. Truly, this time, we, we taught you everything we can. Now that that's done, we have a little job for you. That's right, Marie. We need you to use that technique to get the two pearl beans in this cave. The power is much, much more powerful than ours. Oh, that's the reason. I don't know how it's more powerful. Again, it makes you wonder if they never actually got the firebrand or thun uh, you know, the firebrand techniques. They just have uh, a natural ability to do, but it's not as powerful, maybe? I don't know. That's why, that's why you two can get the two pearl beans. Listen, I don't mean to be a pill, but if you refuse, you'll have to pay for your lesson. It'll cost you a hundred thou- uh, 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 yeah, a hundred thousand coins! Okay, alright, hurry, do it! We need both pearl beans! Yeah! Whoa! Go, go! Let's go! Well, we got a job to do. Uh, take the one half. This one is the Luigi. Here. Gotta flip another switch. Yeah, this is why you needed to go after the one in Tihi Valley first, just so you could get these powers. Because now we'll be able to uh, actually go after the others if we wanted to. We could save the one in Guarhar Lagoon for later. We got the green pearl beam. Good. Oh, good! So good! A green pearl bean! The next is the red pearl bean! Oh, get it, please! Hurry, quickly, now! Let's take the right path. There's that. Now we can finally knock over these people. How did that happen? You guys are snow slouches. I think that's what they say every time. The sound, whenever you get interrupted like this, the sound effects continues to play. So nice! A red pearl bean! I wanted this so bad! So... Here's the real question. We didn't get our full hand massage. You know, it, the hand massage got interrupted. And no, the 200 coins is not for the power of... It, it's not for these techniques. They just said that the, the cost of learning these techniques was to get the pearl beads. We just got cheated out of 200 coins, I think. I think we need a refund. Gigi and Marie were so excited by the pearl beads episode that they fallen fast asleep. As a result, the, relax the relaxation room is closed for a while. Yeah, I think we just got ripped off. Miracle hand massage at 30 minutes, 100 coins per person. We did not get our full 30 minutes. We need our 200 coin refund back. That's a ripoff. The pearl beans was for learning these techniques. But now that we have these techniques, we could go... We can actually go after the other bean, uh, the bean uh, stuff if we wanted to. If we wanted to. Thinking about it, though... Uh, I don't think we have a reason to leave. So we'll just keep going. Yeah, we'll go ahead and keep going. There's nothing, there's no harm. 
I don't think there's gonna be like any special enemy that we can encounter just by these abilities now that we can steal from in a different area. So let's go ahead and just continue with Guahar Lagoon. And these guys have the ability to revive as well as heal. Oh, wait, right, right. I remember now. Since we got these bros techniques, we got a new technique. Thunder Bros. With Luigi. It's not that powerful. However, it didn't take effect. Trust me, that is a useful ability. We'll see later. Fire Bros. So that's Mario's last one. Ashe. I guess these skills don't really work on these Koopas. Makes sense, though. But we need to spam these. You know, if we actually want to get a move on, maybe we shouldn't grind against these enemies. Using the abilities once, that's good enough. You know, let's try to get a move on. They resist the elemental attacks. So we can go. Okay. Again, let's get rid of the these. Oh, I got hit. Oh well. Of course you freaking revived him and he gets his turn too. It's so dumb. Let me attack this one. There we go. Did not time that right. Oh well. Thunder Bros. Thirty-two damage, but as you can see, he has a defense drop now. That's why it's so good. And that can work on bosses. It is so good. Combined. Luigi's basic Thunder Bros with Chopper Bros or Knockback Bros. You're doing a lot of damage. Level 26. Uh, what can we boost? You can always boost HP. Uh, I don't know about BP. Power's okay. Defense? Speed. We, I feel like we don't need power. 26 for Luigi. Okay. Make him more tanky. BP. Well, there's pretty decent numbers there. Defense. Speed. I don't know. Let's try to give him more power. And the sound effect still plays when this gets interrupted. Back in underwater. Cheap cheeps. What else we got? You wanna go down here? Yeah. Super mushrooms, cool beans, and coin. I think that's all there is down here, yeah. What's this way? Bulletin board, water spout, C4 volcanic activity causes heated water to erupt and steam to the surface. Open your arms wide and let the water hit you to blast be blasted up high. Spin. Actually, can we get to the left side? Can we do this? Nope, we can't. We actually can't get oh wait, duh, I'm stupid. We just swim. 
Just a normal mushroom? It's kind of lame. Speaking of normal mushrooms, how many do I have? 81. Make that 80. We're almost lit. We're almost capped on regular mushrooms. By the way, I still don't have the shroom, uh, the shroom force, uh, equipment, equi you know, right now. I don't have it equipped because it's too, it's too cheap. It's too busted, too strong, especially if you max out all the other mushrooms. <laughs> in that. Especially if I want to keep grinding. Let's get rid of you. Way too strong. Oh. Well, I want to go on grab this. That works. Alright, first, let's go ahead and... You know what? I'm going to use a super mushroom. That's 50 HP. Oh, well. Bros, go! That works. I am too strong. This game is super easy. Again, now that I'm playing through it, it's super easy because I just fight every enemy along the way. But that's just kind of the mindset I try to play when I, you know, play an RPG. And I feel like that's only a problem with this game. Because I fight every enemy in other Mario and Luigi games and I don't have this problem. Okay, wait a minute. That is a boomerang bro. I... Actually, I don't think there's anything new we can steal from in a long time. Okay, maybe not a long time, but the other enemies are going to be later. I'm just kind of glancing through again. Okay, no. I, I, I kind of see the next one we're going to be able to steal from. Alright. Oh. He gets healed. Better off just wasting that. Who knew Boomerang Bros can absorb fire? Who would guess that? Thunder Bros. It really doesn't matter who you target. Oh no. A bot telling me to buy some more bot viewers. I totally like that. Anyway. Uh, okay. So I should go ahead and fire Bros. Not the Boomerang Bro, but pretty good. But yeah, with Thunder Bros, you don't need to tar you don't need to worry about targeting a specific character. You don't need to, because it has an AoE, basically, all on the ground. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use it again. There we go. 
From one battle to another. I'll probably have Mario heal. Thunder Bros, go! Obviously, this doesn't work on aerial enemies. Sadly. Oh, wow. Mario, I think you need to be more tanky. Or I just need to be better at dodging. Alright, Mario, you go ahead and just heal yourself, I guess. Actually, we'll use another mushroom. Alright. Thunder Bros, go! Hold on, I want to check the playback. I never noticed that. For a single friend- Oh my god, you can get Ultra Mushrooms from these guys? Wow. But for a single frame, for a single frame, Mario uh, gets, looks like he's damaged by the electricity because you can see his uh, skeleton. I never noticed that. It's like for like a frame or two. Well, Harry Lagoon Mysterious Items Part 2. Spin blocks. If you hit these blocks while spinning around, they'll go flying in the direction you were moving. If they get stuck or disappear, just leave the area and return. Path. We need to go down both paths. Fire Bros! Get rid of the Gritty Goomba first. Try to learn our Bros technique. What's that? Thunder Bros! Go ahead and recover some BP for Luigi. Perfect. Thunder Bros. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, Mario, I guess we could waste time by using another. Supposed to be successful. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that one either. Well, let's waste another turn. Gotta get that advanced technique. There we go. Got it right. Level 27. Oh my god, really? Levels happen so quickly. What, can, what would I want to boost? Actually, I should probably boost like defense or something for Mario. He kind of needs it. Or HP. Probably defense. He's in desperate need to tank more. Yeah. Luigi. I mean, I can always give you attack. My tank Luigi. I actually have no clue what would what's better to boost. 
HP or defense? Because I don't know how the map works, or the damage formula works, I should say. It's probably better to boost defense, but I don't know. I feel like they're just kind of even. I need Mario to do something. Let's try. Well, he could have jumped on the other one. Or something. We shall grind! You see, I don't consider this grinding because you're just fighting the enemies as you go along throughout the story. I'm not taking extra time doing uh, doing something separate, you know what I mean? I'm just going along with the game. The game gives you a lot of levels and really high stats. And I gotta get the advanced move somehow. Um, I think Mario could go ahead and jump. That's fine. Perfect. Get some extra ultra shrooms, that works too. Let's see. You can work on two greedy goodies. I do think the advanced technique for the fire one is... Well, there's no drawbacks, I'll say that. It is probably just straight up stronger if you can get it to work. But I feel like there's like no drawbacks with that. With Mario's Fire 1. Luigi's, there's actually a trade-off with his advanced one. And there's actually reasons to use both. We'll get there when we get there. It doesn't really matter. You just gotta pick one. At least it doesn't absorb fire. Unlike boomerang blows. I, I don't know how that works. Explain to me how fire, uh, how boomerang blows absorb fire. Take the poison damage. That's fine. There we go. Straight into another fight before I could do anything. Try to get rid of this one. There is a difference because, as we saw, it was one's a cheat cheat. And it does a different type of attack, but I don't know how you're supposed to tell which one's which. I think I remember? I think this is the shark. Yeah, okay. Oh, there we go. Advanced Thunder Bros. You know what? I'm okay with this. First, let's go ahead and heal Luigi. 
Let's test this out. You okay, Mom? You okay? I think after this fight, we're gonna... I think she might need to go out. But let's test this out. I forget the button presses, so we're gonna take it slow. Mess that up. But that's the idea. B A A B at the right time. Yet. Level 28? Are you kidding? I'm already another level up. I think I'll just tank a bit better. Just a little bit better. Not much. Oh my god. Uh, can I. Yeah, we'll. Not much, but it's something. My god! So Luigi's is done. We don't need to grind for him, but I'm gonna actually show off why you would want to use that. Uh, let me step away for a minute. I think Molly needs to go outside. I'll be right back. And I'm also gonna like fill my water up. Be right back.
Okay, I am back. I let Molly out. Let's see if she she'll do okay. Oh, right. I need to use a syrup. Probably a super syrup, right? There we go. That worked fine. Alright. We still need to power up Fire Bros. Keep the grind going. I may skip some enemies here and there if I power up Fire Bros. Because I, I am definitely getting overpowered. I think it's the two sharks. Yeah. Okay, let's test out the advanced technique. Uh, never mind. <laughs> if I could get, get it down, because there's a good reason to use it. Actually, we probably won't be able to really use it effectively until the boss. Let's go ahead and fire bros. Doesn't one of these enemies get healed by electricity? I think it is the Mallory Bud. Bros, we're gonna try it again. Oh. Man, I just want to get the timing right. So I guess failing the second jump might let you hit aerial enemies with it, which means you might be able to lower their defense that way. That's a idea. Try this again! Man, I did not- and it would have just healed them anyway. No, it was the starfish that got healed. Okay, whatever. I'll keep the grind going. Mushrooms? Wow, I'm getting a lot of mushrooms. How many do I have? 95. Getting there. Can almost swap out Mario's equipment. Okay. Ooh. We have the Mecha Bloopers. We can't. S There's nothing to steal from them, but, so. They are cool with me. This type of enemy has never shown back up again. And it's actually a pretty cool concept. This should bring the mecha group over back into something else. Alright, Thunder Bros. Let's try the advanced one again. Come on. I'm getting the timing wrong, but that's why we practice. Oh, 
spin. Go left. Grab the beam. Uh, is there anything else I can get around here? There's this path. It looks like there's nothing in here. There's gotta be like a hidden item, but I don't really want to just like keep swimming to try to find it, so... There's a triple B. Okay. To match it. Still gotta train Mario. is a little slow, and it feels like the power that you get out of it isn't that great. There we go, we get a thunder uppercut. Now, we didn't get to see the special effect. But the special effect for doing that is the enemy gets a power down. So the basic one is a defense down. And if you get, use the advanced one, you get a power down. It is That is one of my favorite moves to use in this game. Like, Luigi's th uh, Thunder Bros technique is so good. both versions have been used. Whereas you can make the argument that every other move, you're better off just using the advanced version. I think with Chopper Bros, uh, you're still probably better off with the advanced version based on what I was like reading. Like you deal more damage with advanced than you do with normal. But like, Luigi's Thunder Bros. There's reasons to use the basic and the and the regular one. Or the basic and the advanced one. Well, Luigi doesn't need to do that anymore, so we'll just focus on Mario. I got my mushroom back. Go ahead and attack Luigi. He doesn't really need to do anything. reason why I don't really care for Fire Bros is how slow it is. That's my only issue with it. Every other move is, like, pretty fast paced. Uh, I think we'll just use a normal syrup for Luigi to basically just not get to max, but almost max. And 
with him and waste a turn. More fire bros! You need that advanced technique. And also, when you use fire bros, actually the other benefit is you still get the chance to burn. So I guess if you're fighting a boss, using the normal technique means like what, six individual chances to get burn going. So I guess that's useful. This is why I wish there was like a guard command or something. So that way I don't have to waste a turn by using an item. I guess I could have just failed it. Mushrooms. Level 29. Level 29 already? Okay, well, can we use HP? Honestly, that's not that bad. Yeah, try to beef up Mario a little bit. Luigi. Can we use. Power doesn't seem to be bad. Okay, whatever. Maybe I should have gone with speed. Gotta keep the grind going. So far, these sets of enemies in the ocean don't give us a way to counter them when they attack us. Huh. Still nothing. Uh, I guess I'll just fail it. Oh, it didn't, it didn't take my input. Bros? When are we getting that advanced technique? Again, it must be um the total amount of successes. There it is! Oh, yeah! Oh, okay. I know what I need to do. I, I know the... I know the button commands for this one. Does he throw the pillows on who attacked him, or was it just a coincidence? Alright, let's test this out. So good. Oh, mess that up. <laughs> so the idea is you hit your own fireballs to basically charge them up into one big fireball. And at least even if you miss that part of the command, the attack still goes to the other side. Let's see if I can do it successfully, though. Okay. Okay. And just frickin' jump on Luigi and spike the fireball, it's great. Very strong, too. But then again, like a lot of these moves are very strong. But then again, I'm probably just overpowered. Alright, we don't need to do any more grinding for gross moves or anything. There's nothing to steal. Is that where I need to go? Oh, that's where I have to go. Alright. I think I might just skip past a lot of these enemies, because I don't need to grind. I'm already overpowered as it is. I am under. Oh, 
all of this just to flip a, a blue switch. center, I might as well make a save. I mean, we just mastered two bros moves. Let's go right. We got a spin jump puzzle. Uh, okay. We want to do this. Right? Then move it up. Wait, there's something over here. Okay, that's suspicious. Is there something in the center? There is. Ooh, a hobie. Hobie. Right. More spin jump. We need the Luigi Thunder. Thunder Brand. That switch. I guess if you really want the safe point, you should go to the right, but I think we need to keep going. Let's, let's just loop around. Oh, this just looped around. I went the wrong way. And I, I missed a pathway somewhere. Because I think there's one more switch. And let me take a... Uh, let me look at the sign over... Oh, I, I see. I see. We need to go south. Oh, right. Okay. Oh. Make sure you're already set and ready to go for this because it's a short time limit. What the? Is I facing the wrong way or something? I guess you're allowed to mess up once. You have enough time to get yourself back to normal, but jeez. I don't know how I messed that up. I was facing the right way. Right, I need to skip anyways. Um... Just attack up the right, bro. This is a shark? Yeah. That is also a shark? No, that is a cheat sheet. There's no way to tell. There is no way to tell. So I think my suggestion would be to just wait a second. Because the shark doesn't attack immediately. And because he doesn't attack immediately, it gives you a second to realize it's the shark or the cheat sheet. And I thought Thunder Bros would actually be enough. Do I have enough mushrooms? Yes! Look at that! Max out on mushrooms! Okay, Mario can now swap to a different, uh... Do we want wool trouser? That's only two defense. No, it was this. Hermetic pants. Sealed pants that are tough to change. I think that's the beefiest Mario can be- Oh wait, no, no, no. It's smart pants that we want. If you just want pure defense, it's smart pants. If you want a little bit of poison resistance, well, by a little bit, by 60%, uh, you want hermetic pants. I don't think anything can poison me here. Oh, Mario's now, uh, tanky. He's now basically caught up to Luigi. He's still like 20 points off, but oh well. And Luigi's still good with his street jeans. Let's try to skip some of these guys. Up here, what do we got? Another fire, uh, fire hand one. We need to make it to that switch. 20 seconds. It. 
Bring over here. Flip this switch. We got 10 seconds. Oh, I thought I would run into that wall. Three, two, there we go. Made it. I thought I would run into that spot, but no, I would have just made the whole thing. Yeah, if you just hug the top part of that. Okay, good job. We can make it over to the other side. Finally. Yeah. Up. And back over to the save points. Let's continue. Playing the Japanese version, there is nothing to steal here, but we are playing the American version, so there is. How's that feel, Hermie? I I like the look of it. Oh, I get a good feel from that. Yes, yeah, I do. Yes, yeah. Uh, who are you? Have you come to help me decorate too? Red clothes and moustache. Oh, I couldn't even that myth. Could you be Ta Santa Claus? Yeah, that's how he's talking. Okay. Oh, no. Hermie, what is it? Oh wow! On closer inspection, I see you have red clothes and a shiny mustache. Could you be? Wow! That jump! How? Then it's true! It's true! You're Mario of the Mushroom Kingdom! S uh, stupendula! Mario of the Mushroom Kingdom is here! Party on! This is no time to be decorating! Whoa! It's true! It's true! Can I touch your mustache? That jump, it's gloriful! Grandula! I cannot wait to brag to everyone! I know! This rules! Luigi wants to join in on the fun, I guess. Oh, uh, my decorations? Huh? Oh, you must be the president of the Mario fan club? Oh, no, wait just a second. Green clothes. Mustache. Hey, any chance you're the famous brother who always gets left behind? Luigi! Wow, are we lucky or what? How old are you? What's your sign? And your hat size? Okay, your waist? Favorite snack? Seems like the more excited for Luigi. Bugs! This, the decorator stopped, and it's all because of you. If you want to cause trouble, then you're stupid. And here we go. Hermie the Third. We need to steal from him. Let's see if we can do it. That's why we got to make sure Lucky Ribbon, we got it. Okay, attacking him will cause him to counterattack. How frustrating. It is time to speed things up. I don't know. Did he just give him a, a sweet Oh, Thunder Bros. You're gonna use the basic one. Oh, right. One of the claws is weak to electricity, and the other one's weak to fire. And if you deal enough damage to the claw, then it's, uh. It can't be used right now. Refresh your herb, I think. So he has his, he has the defense down. Now, let's see. Mess that up. Never mind. I was trying to get the attack down. Okay. Oh, now 
now he's healing. Now he's in his shell. At this point, if you leave him be, he's going to heal himself. With Mario, you can either use your bros move or use the hand power. Two damage, but sets it on fire briefly. What are you doing to my pretty decoration? So, no more stupid. There we go. And he gets his claws back. If you leave him in there, he'll, he will just heal. Still keeps the defense right, though. Messing the timing up. Because, uh, he's dead anyway. Ugh. Ah. Please excuse me, Marie. He's a little kooky. Gee, I'm sorry, fellas. I guess we were in the wrong. Anywho, I'm sure you two must have some reason for coming here. Huh? Big thing on the shell. Well, whoop de do. What's so important about that thing? Wow, did you hear that, Hermie? So, then I suppose I have no choice. Choice. There we go. Oh, yeah. We got our first bean star. Only three more to go. And after decorating things so well, too. But we tried so hard. What? You're leaving already? Mm -hmm. I don't see why you can't stay and relax personally. Superstars are busy people, I'm sure. If you're going back this way, it should be a shortcut. Let's check that ribbon. Lucky ribbon. Increases the frequency of lucky hits. What was the other one that had that? Uh, Shrimp Forest, Lucky... Lucky Bros. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so, just a second. If we compare Lucky Bros from Trunkle to the Lucky Ribbon... Okay, this is a trade-off. You get more... 20 more... No, tw 22 more BP. But you get less attack power out of it. So, there is a trade-off between Lucky Ribbon and Lucky Bros. That's a trade-off. There's, uh, and you get the chance for more crits. But i rather have the... Rose Rock? Yeah, the Rose Rock. I, ra I, ra I still rather have that. There we go. Alright. One bean piece down. Three to go. To be honest, I think that was the longest section for the beam pieces. Um, trying to think. Where do I want to go? Chuckle Hut. I think we will go down here to the Southern Beam Beam Kingdom. Because the other one was. Actually, I don't. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go here for now. We'll start this up. Right? Yeah, keep going this way. We gotta go past the airport. South? Is this where I need to be? No. Oh, I remember. Yeah, it's a. Yeah.
that's a that's a good piece. down here. Splurt assistant acquired with it. Ask for hard wall. There's the bean piece. Yarf! I impossible! No way! No way am I working with explosive colors like those. Water. Drink. Too much water. Honestly, what is what is one to do with such riffraff? Oh, welcome, welcome! I am Carl Parhall, genius designer, and I am also called Bleached. Yes, we are the one and the same. Did you know? Did you know? Yes, yes, whatever. Am I correct in assuming you're interested in Splart assisting opening? Fine, fine. If you do a decent job, I'll pay you. Your pay will be... A beam-like thing that cascade down from the heavens. Ta-da! Oh, yeah. What? Do you have some sort of complaint? <laughs> That's better. Now then. can help me with my splurt right away. But you must be snappy just doing it get done. Now, don't mind me. I'll just give you a little advice while you work. Trust me, you need it. First, go have yourself a trinket so you can become proper splurt water pump. Once you're able to plump out water like a human fire hydrant, step on these little footmarks. Try it. Fine, fine, I'll explain the method to my genius, though the genius of Splurt defies explanation. First, you must dye the fabric. Fabric. Press the B button to shoot water at the design bomb. Try it already, try it. The color of the de design bomb you hit colors the fabric. Oh, by the way, if you get two design bombs at the same time, then the fabric color becomes a mixture of the two colors. Don't forget, it's vital to splart. Oh, and one more teensy thing. If you're dying fabric, and you think blarf, that's all wrong, just talk to Bleach. He'll make a, uh, the fabric nice and shiny white for you. Oh, thanks for the follow, Super Pocket Boy. Enjoy the emotes while we, uh, you know, do some building design for Harhaw. Once you're done dying, then you choose the design. So get to shoot water at the artsy bombs again, and it's just so fun you can die. The designs of the design bomb you shoot. Now how's it going, uh, Super Pocket Boy? Alters the design on your dudes. On your guns. The design bomb patterns are... The tropical design. The polka dot design. And the checkered design. Well, how's, how's your dang going, Super Pocket? By the way, if you hit two or more design bombs, the pattern always ends up being a star. Remember that. Played a long time ago. It's a fun game. Super easy, though, when you know what you're doing, though. Once you're done with the design, I'll, deci I'll decide if it perfectly matches the artistic vision of Splart. So, yeah, anyway, that's the method to my genius. And now, I'll need you to finish our four outfits for me, okay, boys? I'm on to it. That's all I have to tell you, so get started on your first assignment with all speed. As for design, anything will do. Just give me a red color. By the way, I am doing this with retro achievements. You know, just getting achievements as I play along. It's honestly not too complicated for this game. Which is kind of generous for retro achievements sometimes. Okay, as long as it's a red color. 
But yeah, uh, have you played any of the other Mario Luigi Mario Luigi games? And also, are you excited for Brothership? I didn't know that was a thing. It's, it's more interesting. Yeah, it can be. Uh, although, I think for this game, when you look at the set, it's basically like, if you've 100% the game before, it's nothing too complicated. Although, like, sometimes these achievements can uh, show you something that you never knew about the game before. Oh, yes, that's it. That that will do fine. Next, on to the next one. Let's see, the next design is... I want something in yellow. And in a checkered pattern. Uh, right there. There we go. The pattern is consistent for the... for the movement of the bombs. Never played another one, but you have the DS1 on key for years to play. You're talking about partners in time, right? Honestly, like... The first four Mario Luigi games are really good. Paper Jam is just kind of there. But I am excited to play Brothership. Yes, that's it. That will do fine. Next, on to the next one. Oh, the 3DS one, Dream Team. That's a good one. That's probably, that's my top two. That and Bowser's Inside Story. Give me a purple with polka dots. Okay. Right? Oh, I almost had it. Uh, how do we press A to cancel? Yeah, we need to start fresh. Purple with Pokedar. Did not get the timing right. There we go. That's your best timing for the polka dot one. Or the one in the middle, just in general. Let's say the next design is... I'm depressed. I crave brown. But with the star? Remember, to make the star pattern, just hit two or more design bombs at once. You think there would be a, another uh, another pattern to get all three at the same time? Just to get brown. And to line up everything. Right there. Just needs to be a star. There we go. Splendid! We're all done here. Yes, I can't wait for Brothership. I hope to stream it. But I don't know when I will stream it, but I hope to do that. It means I must pay you with a bean-like thing as promised. Go next door and get your pay. But yeah, like I haven't played the the remakes for this game or Bowser's Inside Story, but other than that, I played the others. Here's the big thing I promised you. Take it with you. Now we have the second Bean Star out of four. Only two more to go. I look at my previous streams with really yeah, uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, if you're curious, uh, you probably only saw what's on Twitch. There's a link to the YouTube Archive channel with a lot more there if you're interested. I swear, you guys are incredible. If I need help again, I'll be coming to you. Let's see. I guess if I wanted to set this up, I need to leave and come back. So we'll go ahead and get another bean. By the way, at the beginning of this... Oh, you already checked it? Okay. Wasn't sure. Uh, we do need to come back to Harbor. Mainly for achievements, but that will take some time. Maybe I'll save that for later. I was streaming Retro Games 2 some time ago. What were you streaming? I do a lot of, like, either challenge runs, 100% runs, or, like, some first playthroughs. Axley Cave Noir. I have never heard that one. I, I, this is the first time I've heard of that. No, I haven't. Um, what, what's it for? If it's retro, I'm thinking, like, maybe PS1 or, like, SNS and Game Boy. Huh. Again, I've never heard of those two. Can you give me like the elevator pitch of those two? 
it. Let's go to the north side. We'll get another bee. I'll probably go back to Harbaugh after doing this set. Oh no. And again, at the beginning of this stream, I uh I already beat Trunkle and was in fun little fungi town. But I went back to get equipment uh the badges and the pants that you could steal from. I went to take care of that from the enemies, and some of them are useful, some of them are not. Next is a shoot 'em up Konami, probably one of the best on the systems. Ah, okay. I have never, I never really played many shoot 'em ups. Uh, I do have a slight interest in playing some now, like in the more recent years, but I just haven't gone around to play any. I do have, like, Radiant Silver Gun remake on my, like, Steam. No, like, my Switch wish list. Just haven't gotten around to pick it up yet. Oh, no. Cave Noir is kind of like sir. predecessor to Cave of the Necro Dancer. Really? Huh. Man, they actually just really gun for you. Get some of these guys. Yeah, this game, like... I feel like this game, you kind of want to skip enemies. Before the Game Boy, not really know. I wonder how, like, I wonder how much it costs. Hold on, give me a second. I'm gonna take a quick check. Uh, let's see. Cave Noir. Let me look. Like, how much is that game going for? Cave Noir. 35 bucks for a loose copy. That ain't that bad. It's also Konami. Huh. Oh, is that a, um... That didn't make it over here, right? No, it's... That was Japan only, it seems like. No wonder I never heard of it. It looks like it never made it to America. What was the other one? Uh, the other one was... Axley. Yeah, no translation needed. Only in Japan. Yeah, okay. No wonder I never heard of it before. Axley does look like it made it over here. A loose copy is 80, like 90 bucks for a loose copy here in America. But that one did make it over here. Huh. Yeah, something to look into. If, if one were to get into shoot 'em ups, right, and hasn't really played it, what would be some good recommendations? To like, uh, maybe not necessarily easy, but beginner friendly, maybe? I don't know. Some crazy tunes, but Konami still make great games. I mean, that was like in the 90s. Konami, like, it's only more recently when, you know, Konami just kind of stepped out because, you know, Pachinko machines and all that. Because, like, I'd say they probably started going maybe downhill. Like, they were still doing good on DS, like that era. So probably 3DS era, maybe? Pat and slightly past that. Congratulations, you get this prize! We got the Iron Pants. Granted, I've still bought, like, some of their collections and stuff, because, you know, it's like a collection of good games, but giving them money so there's that trade-off. I don't know. After a certain point, you got this guy to go. I don't know. Okay, uh, Iron Pants. Only to Mario. You get a huge boost to defense. 
but you have heavy gravity. Makes it harder to dodge things. I don't remember if heavy gravity affects your power as well, but that's a huge trade-off. Actually, you know what? Let me... I feel like I need to show it off, because I, I haven't shown off heavy gravity yet. I gotta show what I mean. Oh, no. oh of course you attack Luigi. Okay, so if we attack Paratrooper, look how fast he moves because of gravity. But like his jump is a lot lower. Let's go ahead and just give her the ball. But he has a harder time lifting his hammer. And also, I think he has a harder time holding on to it as well. So, I... Level 30. I'm not even trying to level grind. Um... Must be me. Honestly, at this point, I don't think I really need to boost Speed? Power? Sure. Not a hardcore shoot up player, but I say Axel is cool. It has an easy mode to get in. It's usually hard to play old shoot -em ups so maybe it's better to try to go with the newer one. Yeah, I'm gonna swap back to. It wasn't this. It was. The Smart Pants. That's what it was. can't just waltz up and start talking to my master. You, you weasels, look at you. You're no doubt in my mind, there's no doubt in my mind that you've come looking for money. Oh, I have, you know that my master is very busy. He doesn't have time to waste on the likes of you. Be off, off I say. Huh, Greenstar, bust it into four pieces. Oh, oh, master, master, you mustn't listen. You can't listen. Oh, this talk, it's just meant to swindle you out of your money again. It's all lies. LIES! You know what, there are some new indie ones specifically on Switch with Retro 5. Maybe they have more Yeah, again, I I don't really know too many shoot-em-ups. Again, the only one I have, like, in my save for later is, is Radiant Silver Gun. Radiant Silver Gun, and I think that's a remake. But I, I just don't know too many, except for, like, the... There's like one retro one that I know of, but it's like one of those gag ones. Uh, there's like shoot 'em ups and then there's cute 'em ups, I think. Uh, yeah, I know it's a weird thing. Silence, you twit. And with that, please excuse me. Is that? There's something on my face. I love the Italian names that they speak. Yeah. You say I look like Bubbles, the legendary soda maker. Oh, it's very hard? Wow. <laughs> That's because I'm Bubbles' younger brother. Bubbles has been around for over a thousand years, at the very least. My, main, my name is Bottle. Younger brother of the legendary soda maker. As you can see, I'm rich enough to own my own theater. I also happen to be president of the Yoshi Fan Club. This theater was designed by Yoshi Loving Chap specifically for the enjoyment of the Yoshis. So, what did you want to talk about? I see. You just have to have. You just have to have the decoration on the sign. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Fine, fine. I suppose I could decorate the sun with something else and give that sparkly thing to you. Oh, yeah. No, no, you mustn't, Master. You mustn't. It takes a very long time to get his aiming done. However, only on one condition. This sign is my theater's face. You must find something else that can be used to decorate my grand sign. Understood. 
I, do you mean neon eggs? Yes, I shall trade you this for the seven brilliant colors of the neon eggs. I impossible, Master. Washed up middle aged men such as these could never get the neon eggs. I get the joke, it's just a little too slow. Number two, you agree to this. When the Yoshis eat a particular kind of food, they lay neon eggs, or so they say. Inside that movie theater are seven hungry Yoshis, so find that particular food and give it to the Yoshis inside. Once you get a neon egg, it means the Yoshi's, the Yoshi's stomach is filled. It also means everyone's happy, right? I I incredible master, thinking not only of yourself, but for all the Yoshis too. You two, don't just stand there staring. Thank my master. And once you're done thanking him, hurry up and get those neon eggs. Now that you mention it, there is something in this theater who's very well versed in all neon eggs. You should talk to that individual about the, what food makes Yoshi's lay neon eggs and where to find them. This movie theater is now finally nearing completion. They say this place was built for Yoshi's by a great Yoshi enthusiast. While we're certainly heard, uh, while we've certainly heard of Yoshi's be here and being being, most people have never seen them. This place could be all the rage. Wow, and there's a Yoshi right there. What's this? Coming soon. The action blockbuster. Mario and Luigi. It sounds so cool. Oh, I can't wait. I don't remember hearing about this movie. I mean, they were never informed. It seems like he's just trying to profit off our likenesses. So this is the movie theater. Or a movie theater. Uh, once the sign is finished, Yoshi Theater will be complete. Oh, I can't wait. Once the theater is done, the wall by the door will be so sparkly. Wow, Yoshi faces everywhere. Let's go see what this food expert has to say. But look, look at the movies that are in the theaters. Kirby Story, Wario, Mario and Luigi, and Legend of Starfy. Or Staffy, not Starfy, Staffy. I still haven't played a Starfy game. And uh, I don't have Switch Online for uh, to play the D uh, GBA one even if I wanted to right now. Indeed, I am the architect who has designed this very theater. I am called Fava. I'm also indeed the older brother of the Castle Town's greatest intellectual. <laughs> what? 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 The neon eggs, you say? How did you know that I am a neon egg fiend? That's right. Some know me as the architect, and some know me as an intellectual's older brother. But in reality, I'm just an old man who loves neon eggs. Perhaps. <laughs> you know what game I haven't played that was made by Alpha Dream? It was before the Mario and Luigi stuff. It was, uh, I think it was called Tomato Adventure. I don't know if it's any good. What? You want to know what food makes, ne makes Yoshi's lay neon eggs? Would that be bean fruits, perhaps? Bean fruits are native to Bean Kingdom. They grow underground, perhaps. Thank you, I try sometimes <laughs> on the voices. First, dig up the bean fruit out of the ground. Then feed the bean fruit you dug up to a Yoshi. Then you will get a neon egg, perhaps. Never heard about any other games from them. I know of Tomato Adventure, that was Japan only. There is a Game Boy Color game, I don't remember what it was called, but when I was doing some research on this game, apparently the final boss of this game is heavily inspired of the one, at least the battle it, itself, is inspired by the final boss of one of the Game Boy Color games that they made. Perhaps, then perhaps you will get a neon egg. Perhaps. But you know, there's nothing wrong with the old man being a neon egg fiend. I've never even found a single neon egg in my life. So I, you know this is how it works very well. However, the knowledge I have gained after much collecting and searching is not exact. Tomato Venter? Oh, Koto Battle? That's the Game Boy one? Huh. Should look into it. But in my head, I have a map that shows kind uh, shows kind of the general area where bean, fr bean fruits may be. Perhaps. Oh yeah. What? 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 You're gonna find them and feed them to the Yoshi's. Hmm. Okay, 
will tell you. Indeed, I will tell you now. I will show you a map that points out the general location of some beam fruits. I'll put marks on your map. Perhaps. And these are the bean fruits we actually picked up some of them already. Go to the areas I marked on your map and look for suspicious spots surrounded by grass or rocks. If you find such spots, there's no mistaking that a bean fruit lies in the dirt in that spot. By the way, to dig up bean fruit, just dig underground once and pop back up. Perhaps, if you're lucky. And we've already found a few. Uh, how many do I have? I have six. One, two, three, four, six. There's only one left. <laughs> okay, one more to go. Might as well go for it. Actually, before we do that, before we go to that final one, we'll we'll give the Yoshi's the food a little later. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick mini game. Go back to the warp pipe. I still need to make an attempt of the arcade minigame. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm not gonna necessarily go for the high score that I need for the achievement. But we'll go ahead and see how many beans I can get because I need to make another coffee. I think I need like two more he beans. And I was waiting for the arcade machine. Let's try this again. Go up to this floor. We want this one. There we go. If I start to view the rules, I'm good. Let's just see how many pea beans I can get out of this. It's just you reach a certain score threshold and you get the corresponding amount of beans. Oops. Okay, come on. I doubt I'll get the achievement, but we'll see. There's a high score one for this. Even well, I made it like a little more than halfway last time on my first attempt, but <sighs> come on. It's so sad that the remake of this game gets rid of the Geno cameo. Yeah, I did not. I did not make the, the achievements. Ooh. Score. Want to keep playing? No! I'll be waiting for your next attempt. Let's see. I scored 331 points. How many did I get? I got five beans out of that. That should be good enough. For the achievement, I think I need 450 for that high score. It's a little ridiculous. I might grind that out later. Um, back to Castletown. Can I get all of the coffee done? I think I'm only missing two. Could have done this a long time ago. Let me double check. What what do I have? So. I'm missing one of the normal blends, and I already got the Colombian and the Chocuchino. Let's see. Tihi Espresso. Okay, I have enough. One Tihi Espresso, ready to go. since I've seen you all here. Oh, hey, hey, hey boss. Whoa, your shadow's looking pretty thin there. You haven't been sick, have you? 
<laughs> oh, I'm just testing my invention. A gown that lets anyone become a ghost. By wearing this gown, you can become a ghost anytime, anyplace, anywhere you want. So you finally become a ghost yourself, eh, boss? <laughs> yep. Wow, I may be a ghost. I can still taste new drinks. Somehow. Is the coffee now a ghost? Hmm. This is a mysteriously dim, short-lived flavor. It's just the kind of bean juice that attracts the long-overlooked market of afterlifers. Wow. Thanks for that, Sam. Here's a little something I invented in my spare time. Maybe a wig. We got the cobalt necktie. Oh. Apparently this one was supposed to be given to you by Olimar. From Pikmin. Eee. All right, and what was the other one I'm missing? I'm missing one more. Uh, woohoo, chuckled, and teehee. One more to go. I need... the ho-ho blend. I still don't have enough. I am missing a lot of ho-ho beans. I don't even know where I'm missing them. That's the- there's only one more I can get. Let's take a look at the cobalt necktie. Doubles my stat. That's what I was waiting for! Oh my god. I was waiting for that one. I didn't know it was here. Oh, that's so good. Well, it can be. Here, hold on. Yeah. Cobalt necktie. Doubles your sash points. Who has the higher sash points? Yeah. Yeah. Eh, they're both yeah. about the same, but Luigi has more. Yeah. Cobalt necktie. So now his sash points is at 120. late where I live, but be back whenever you can. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for stopping po stopping by, Super Pocket Boy. I just got the Cobalt Necktie, which means I doubled my stash points. Which means, because my stash is so fabulous, they're willing to give me a higher discount. <laughs> like, I, 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 my stash is just so good. There's a lot of badges I didn't buy. What about this? Is there anything I did not buy here? Yes, I can, I can buy some new stuff. You know, when your stash is super fabulous, they'll be like, wow, oh my god, that's an amazing stash, my, my dude. I'm gonna give you a discount for just having such an amazing mustache. I hope to one day have an amazing mustache like Mario and Luigi's. I guess I need a cobalt necktie as well. Badge for tourists. Sure, we'll just don't equip it. Same thing, what can recommend it for beginners? Oh, I already had one. Oh well. Bean Bean badge. But yeah, thanks for stopping by, Super Pocket Boy. Uh, increases counterattack damage. Oh no! A bot telling me to buy more bots! Get out of here. Uh, let's see. I did not buy this. I want it? Yes. Just to have one at the very least. Charity badge. Manager special. What a bargain! Bros badge, owner's choice, raises bros points. Well, I mean, it's not as great as what I already have. I mean, more power, but... The bros rock is a very good item. Let's see, recovers HP with solo jump attacks, less BP, slightly more power. But you know what? I am going to buy two of these. Again, kind of like the hand moves, you know, getting a little bit of regen for using jump abilities is an interesting strategy. The Oracle, Oracle Badge. Recovers HP by solo hand attacks. I don't... So this is another one that recovers... Oh my god. Okay. We're buying two. I want to compare this to the other two hand ones. Power Badge. Unleashes counter attacks on monsters, so... Better counterattack damage. 
Increases frequency of lucky hits. Beauty badge? Sparkling beauty badge. Uh, okay, I guess if I want a pure attack power. Castle badge. Okay, that's the starting one. Okay. I'm not going to buy any more. Alright, let me take a look at the, or, uh, the hand one. So, this is the the one I just bought. So let me find... So we already know that Hand Aura is weaker than the, oh, the OG symbol. Even though you could get the OG symbol sooner. If you do some backtracking. And if you want the HP recovery from Hand moves. Um... However, wait, this is the, it's, the OG badge is still better than the Oracle badge. It's still weaker. That's so, wait, what about the, the Hand Aura? Hand Aura is weaker. Oh. Okay, why is Hand Aura le weaker? You have to steal that one. Wait, do you have to steal or is it a drop? Uh, ha uh hand or it? It's a steal. Thunder fire, thunder hands, fire brand spike. Yeah, it's a steal, not a drop. So what's the point? Honestly, if I were to redesign this slightly. I would swap the power of Hand Aura and the... Yeah, swap the Hand Aura's power with the, or uh, the Oracle Badge. Make the one you have to buy weaker than the one you steal. But the fact that the OG symbol is so much stronger than the other ones that do the same effect... There's no point in getting the others. Where's the... Where's the one I, uh, like? Wing badge, beauty, beam, uh, spike, rose rock. There it is. Wow. Okay. Uh, and I still need more... Who, uh... I still need more beams. There's... They're just in hidden blocks somewhere. I don't know where. Where can I go? Hi. Oh, wait, what? Was I just not close enough? I'm at the edge. There we go. Yeah. There's no way to grind for who beans. You just need to find the hidden blocks. So I just don't know where a lot of these hidden blocks are. Hmm. So, oh. There's, I want to get the last coffee. Do I have to pull up a list? Gotta be a hidden spot somewhere that I missed. But even then, where would I be missing? Now we're back over here. I can't do anything about that. Is there anything up here that I can get?
There has to be something on that ledge. I may have to pull up a list on where these beams are. There. So I want to know. I want to get these beams and get uh, the items before moving on to where we need to go. where this leads. Fire. There we go. We're back on... Uh, we're back over here. The second area. Uh, Ho-Ho Mountain. Yeah. Surface Fields. We don't need to go back there. I mean, there could be missable stuff in Surface Fields. I may have to just pull up a list. Take it up to the summit. Hmm. Actually, no, there is a place I want to check while we're here. I don't remember where it leads. But we might as well check. No, not this way. Hold on. I'm getting, I'm getting a little uh, side. There's something I want to check. We already know if we jump, we get a coin. But if we use the hammer to spit water, we still get a coin. I thought we get... Thunder. We use thunder? Okay, that doesn't matter. I thought you get something else other than coins, but oh well. I want to go in here. What's in here? Congratulations, you get this item! A golden mushroom. I mean, yay? Is there really no, like, hidden items here? That's all this was? No? Okay. Hmm. Now I'm kind of stumped on what to do. Really? Nothing? Okay, well... It's just for a golden mushroom. Hmm. How about I head back? Actually, it doesn't matter what path we take. We get, I just need to get to a green pipe. Let's, let's just get back to the green pipe. Let's go after the other bean star piece. I wanted to save that for last, but now I'm kind of thinking about it. If I want to get the, all the coffee blends done, I need to pull up a list. still kind of think that the level 4 boulder jump might be the best way to get the beans. Now let's go to Chuckahuck Woods. Now let's go get the other star, uh, the bean piece. I don't think 
there's any. I mean, there's more to Tiki Valley to explore, I think, but. Do I really need to go to Tiki Valley right now? I can't go up there. What about down here? There's, there's gotta be something there. There we go. There's a hoopy. This is the Winkle Coliseum. Surviving is hard. and win, and Wickles acknowledge you. Next time we enter, we too will win. Like a Coliseum in my head. Reception, many coins, open door. This is Winkle Coliseum reception. Are you up to the challenge? Yes. Interest fee is 500 coins. Pay 500 coins and the rest is free. 500 coins? We'll pay. You have to. Learn the secrets of Winkle Coliseum. Want to try? Good luck. Another mini game. Welcome to Winkle Coliseum. Ready to try Chocola Bounce? Please explain. All right, I'll explain the rules to you. Winkle Coliseum is a fun place. Try to beat many Chucker Rocks as you can within the time limit. These are Chucker Rocks. Look, one shot out of rock. You touch one, it shocks you. It startle, it'll startle me too. I will move. Chocola rocks change color. The Chocola rock with your Chocola board, it will change color. Hit the Chocola rocks with these with these rocks to destroy them. I I don't think I ever understood that this is a reference to Zelda. <laughs> the Octa rocks. This is a barrier mushroom. Chocola rocks sometimes spit these out. Get one of these and it will get wrapped in the barrier. You can't take these from the Coliseum. You're wrapped in a barrier. Now you can touch Chocola rocks without being shocked. Chocola rocks hit the barrier and fly off to maybe destroy a Chocola rock. Press L and R to turn the barrier off. Oh, hmm. I didn't know you could. The control pad moves you. A or B rotates you. So how many Chocola rocks can you beat before I get to the other side? Good luck. Explanation is done. Let's go ahead and try. Yeah, you only get like a small time loss if you get it. I forgot how hard this actual thing is. Yeah, there's something. I forgot how hard this is. I got two barriers. Well, I think, yeah, I think I got the high score. So that helps. Way. Honestly, the game is pretty generous with when you get hit a lot. I mean, the time limit is still a snail. see. So they're a lot harder hit. Okay. 33. That ain't bad. Oh, Crimble, you did it. The high score is yours. You are a champion. Take this. The Winkles acknowledge you. We got the Wrinkle card. So we can play that minigame at any time. I'm pretty sure there's an achievement for a high score, which I believe it might be 40. And if it is... It wasn't that bad.
try. Oh, you can make it. I just didn't try. Coliseum Champions! Winkles acknowledge you. Alright. Uh, you know what? Let me make a save. Check out Woods Wrinkle Arena. Or area. Guys again? But I found this treasure first. It's mine, see? Pobble. You have no backup now. Oh, sure! You guys are real tough teaming up on me. Don't think you can beat me just because I'm alone. It's my solo debut on the battle line, see? So, nothing special. He won't run. He can't run away. Not this fight. Um, let's have some fun. Let's try to get some status effects on him. Actually, let's see what items we can get. Just a super mushroom? Okay, it's fine. Let's try to lower his attack. Or, you know, we fail and maybe lower defense. Luigi. There we go. Well, uh, we got the defense drop anyway. Yeah, see, like, see, just in general needs to be a little bit better. Especially with, against boss fights. Because that's when you would want to see. Pretty good damage, and he's burned. Just hit him with status effects. Uppercut, 92. He's got the burn damage. It's not much, but it's something. But look, he has the attack drop, too. Oh, this is so great. And let's chop a rose. Another bot telling me to buy more bots, viewers. No thanks. None of that. Man, that's the third one today. Chopper Bros. Uh, and I messed that up. I'm not used to the advanced one. Knockback. Well, that works. Level 30. Yeah. I may be over leveled, but bosses also don't have that much HP. Um, speed? Oh, yeah. Well, we got a new Bean Star. That's three out of four. No, but I'm not giving up C. Somehow digs into the ground. Alright. Well, there's one more to go. I'm gonna make a save. There is one more to go, but I wanna make sure to get all the beans. Uh to get the last coffee made, but I'm I don't know where to look right now. I may just end up pulling something up later, but I wanna make sure to do that before getting the last bean fruit. We also got Horror Hall. We got a bunch of... You know what? I think we're going to call it here. And what we're going to do is next time, I'll have a li list of... I'll pull up a list for the Who Beans. And we'll go bean hunting. We'll get the last bean star. 
we'll probably start working on mini games. Try to get some high scores, plus maybe horror hall. Actually, we will do horror hall and get that done. Go back there. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Uh, let's go ahead and quickly go through the achievements we got today. Because we got a few. Let's start at the top. Let's see. Actually, not at the top. We need to go here. We got Krabby Grass. We we got the upgraded hand abilities. We beat Hermie 3, the third. Defeat Popple. Get the Bean Star from Har Hall. We got the Cobalt Necktie. Which, honestly, as soon as you get access to the... As soon as you get access, access to the cafe, you should grind for this. Boost up your stash. That way, when you buy stuff at shops, you get a bigger discount. Uh, iron, got the iron pants. I've got the wool trousers. Did we get high in bench? No, I think we had that. Uh, let's see. We take taken care of upgraded the fire bros to advanced level. Upgraded Thunder Bros. I think that's all we did. Yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, we need to get 480 for the arcade machine. And then we need to do get 20 points in the, uh, the barrel minigame. Uh, is there one for the... If there is one for... No, I don't see one for the... Oh, no. 40 points in the Chocola Bounce. We can take care of that, too, next time. All right. We'll do that. We're going to mostly spend time doing mini games and stuff next time. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the About page. Tomorrow, basically mini games. That might be the whole thing. We'll see. We'll try to continue with the plot, but I'm... Yeah. Gonna be muscle clear. Anyway, have a good day.